Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with Gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I have ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining night and the champions of the sun, my service, and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. <laughs> I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost. Hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland, I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sahut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the loss to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. And while on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the Champions of the Sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias, of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Ah, let's see if the technology works. Welcome, I'm Tom, thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are in the military, others are in construction, still others, retail managers. A few are in IT, we're parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you. We'd like to thank you, our Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter followers, as well as our YouTube subscribers. Thank you for joining us. 
If you have not already, please follow on Twitch, please like on YouTube and Facebook, and of course, please subscribe on YouTube. Uh, at last check, my last check anyway, we were up to 417 subscribers on YouTube and 460 Woo! followers on Facebook. We Woo! appreciate every nice. single one of you. If during the stream you follow on Twitch or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. So during the stream, some of us are watching. I've got Twitch up back here. Uh, there, so you can even see it. Twitch up. Uh, please feel free to comment or ask questions while live. We will endeavor to interact if the opportunity presents itself to all of you. Again, thank you. What's going on in the campaign? The party is building strength and gathering allies to defeat a powerful vampire named Bayuk Osman Ghazi. In their effort to do so, they are collecting parts to create a powerful magical weapon. Uh, a series of battles and a siege later, they acquired the Heiligalanza, or the Lancehead, from the Spear of Destiny. The DM believes they are now in a search of at least two other parts, perhaps a staff and a power source. With the help of his party, Borinth was also in the process of trying to address whatever suppressed his people in the Badenweiler. Their bane was a Roman general named Drusus, and even though he died 1,300 years ago, some semblance of him was taking villagers from the region and turning them into frozen, undead construct legionnaires and centurions. The party started the last session in Drusus's lair under the Drususteen near the city of Mines. They entered a very large room with a 60-foot tall pedestal. Atop the pedestal was a 12-foot tall frozen Roman warrior. Around him flew a dozen or so invisible hawks. A long-lost party member, Kip, Kalen, had been captured by Drusus and, and frozen into a wall. Through strength of personal will, he emerged from his icy prison and rejoined the party. The Roman warrior attacked the party with a column of ice, threw up an ice wall, blasted several party members with rays of ice, and slashed away at Borinth. The Roman warrior's invisible hawk's feces bombed him and attacked the rest of the party as well with their beaks and nice. claws. That's right. why I was so pissed. <laughs> but um, he was pissed because he got feces on him. He pissed off. See the correlation off. there? Borinth um, uh, leapt up onto the pedestal and bashed away at the Roman warrior. Kip and Edric fired arrows. Mattius engaged some of Roman the Roman warrior's minions. Galela attacked with necrotic damage, and Simon pushed the Roman warrior off the pedestal with Bigby's giant hand, and then cast a fireball, of course. <laughs> During the battle, Zymond fell unconscious, but Kip quickly cured him. Edric fired the killing shot, taking the frozen Roman warrior down. Then the real Drusus emerged. He told his tale. The temperature in the already icy room massively dropped. Edric fell unconscious, and Borinth attacked. Unaware that he was dead and had been for a millennium, Dr Mattias eloquently dressed down Drusus. And with Zyman, the two of them showed <laughs> Drusus proof that he was dead. Seeing the proof in an ancient book and realizing the truth that he was dead, Drusus rapidly started to decompose. When he did, Drusus's ice cavern started to collapse. However, law, having lost so many people to Drusus, merely allowing him to fade away would not sit well with Borinth. He attacked. Drusus returned the blows, and Borinth succumbed to them. With the cavern collapsing, Galela tossed Edric a potion. He rushed in, raised Borinth, and tried to drag him away. Borinth resisted, got up, and attacked Drusus again. <laughs> Splitting the ancient Roman general in half, the animated Drus is now truly dead. His ice caverns collapsing sped up. Borinth and Lycoa the wolf each grabbed one of Drusus's rapidly decomposing hands, and with the party they fled. Running as fast as they possibly could to the exit, they came to the underground bridge that spanned the cavern. Moments before they arrived, it collapsed, of course. Only Galela had made it across. Time ticking down. Zyman cast fly on multiple party members, all put in turbo mode and made it out of Drusus's collapsing lair 
with seconds to spare. Outside the dungeon, then serpentining <laughs> across the serpent-infested frozen lake. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> they, made, they made it to the lake's distant shore. On that distant lakeside shore, we rejoin the beaten and battered party outside the city of Mines. Welcome back, guys. We got a very yeah. full table tonight. Huzzah! Uh, huzzah. I'm Indeed. thrilled everybody could be here. Awesome. You guys are outside, literally outside of, <laughs> on the edge of the frozen lake. You are just right there, I think. Mm, uh, the rapidly thawing lake. The <laughs> rapidly thawing and, and and lake, although it is it is cold, it is still very brisk. It's the middle of winter, but the lake would not have been this frozen. Ryan Balder <laughs> comes strolling down to the edge of the lake and sees his compatriots come flying across and stumbling right there as they do. And you are right in front of the party. What are you guys doing? What the hell did I miss? <laughs> Ma Ma Matthias just slumps against his horse's neck, patting the, patting the creature. <laughs> Balder, good horse. Balder, you turn Such into a, a wolf. Horse. You turn into a wolf, and then you attacked, and then Kip showed up. I... And maybe I was just dreaming, but you were a wolf, and you were attacking, and Kip was there, I think. Kip is with you. I, I don't know. I around at everyone in the group. I'm, I'm a little bit delirious, and I'm a little bit tired, and I lost a lot of blood. But I could have oh, sworn, really? I could have sworn that I did see Kip, and that you turned into a blue wolf. <laughs> like, Koa's gonna, like, pat around uh, Balder and, like, sit next to him with his head cocked looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the hand in its See? mouth. See? <laughs> Balder, there you are. You're right, you're right there. There you are. I'll walk up to you and I'll, you know, uh, well met. It's good to have you back, Kip. Hi. Uh, yes, indeed. I, I didn't get a chance to say it, I think. Hi. It is very good to see you again, kid, uh, Sir Kalen. Uh, yeah. I, if I were not so exhausted, I would, <laughs> I would dismount and give you a proper welcome. I'll walk up to you now. As it stands, I might just fall asleep in the saddle. All right. I'll, I'll walk up to you now. I'll slap you really hard on the so leg tired. and be like, "Well met." Tired and angry. Give Lycoa his pets. <laughs> He's got a hand hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> Good, boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Come here, bring Good that, boy. bring that over here. Yeah. Another hand over here. Can we get over. inside? Take we, take we, do we have to do this out here? Can we start at least walking yeah. back to town? No, somebody might have to carry Borneth. He's looking like he's about to fall over. I don't look He'll much. I don't look much better. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> he's been through worse. We finished it in there. Uh, I don't know if you were all, if you were all around, but. I made sure that Deuces is no more. He was becoming no more even without your help. Especially without <laughs> your help, Mattias. I seem to remember you not helping, actually. I, I was much more concerned about you managing to get out of there alive. <sighs> yes. I wasn't. Because pardon me if it is such a <laughs> crime against honor. But I feel that trying to protect a man who, while we, our relationship might have started as somewhat contentious, I have come since come to consider a friend. I, I feel that I, I feel that attempting to ensure that he doesn't get crushed to death, doing something redundant, <laughs> is more important than wailing on a walking corpse that's already decomposing in front of me. While, we, while a literal ice cavern is collapsing and we're going to be crushed and drowned simultaneously. There is nothing more noble than dying in battle. And if okay. that's how he went, it's not, it then he would... Battle. That comes from a man who wears the armor. There are some out there where death is a kindness that they do not deserve. I believe this Drusus was such a, such a creature. Yeah. He took that kindness from He's so very many people. Yeah. Yeah. Drusus made that choice for many, many of my people. 
You are I'm not arguing that, you, <laughs> that, you are, that your anger is unjustified. <laughs> Just that standing there hacking at him while the place was collapsing around our ears. That was my choice. The process of dissipating Blinded into the rage. ether. That was my choice. Right. Not for you uh, to make for me. And I, do. I wasn't making the choice for you. I don't seem to remember you really sticking around very long. All to right, finish all the right. job, so. It's done, it's done. I agree. It's done, it's done. It is, it's done. It's finished. Where, we are, know we that it's where are we off to now? Uh, the tavern. Mains. Rest. Tavern. Food. Tavern. Food. Drink. Ale. I think that's yeah. the best possible <laughs> solution to our problems at the moment. Uh, we should probably visit the uh, cathedral and the abbot, the priest. Well, let, him know let, let him know that we've dispatched the thing and they yeah. seal up the wall. <laughs> we've done the thing. Yeah. Lead the way, and I'll I'll keep up. Don't show him your boots. Oh, that's right. I won't show him my mask. <laughs> okay. Everything else. Know the you can have everything else. I don't even know what any of this stuff does. Oh, what's the other thing? The golden belt and golden crown? Don't show him that either. <laughs> I think there's you know, like don't show him that either. Like you know, we should just kill him. Figure yourself. Don't, don't <laughs> slide my eye patch down. I <laughs> know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Don't show we'll him that. We'll go with it. All the stuff we stole from his catacombs. Don't tell oh, him. Oh. When, did, when did random murder become our modus <laughs> operandi again? I mean, it always it's always has funny. Been. It always has <laughs> right? been. I don't know if I'd no, call it I, random. I, I mean random murder of innocents, not random murder of passers-by who happen to be shaking weapons. Oh, I think I think uh, Gundrick started that. Mm. Do I remember a village yes, with innocent we, children? Yes, but even we objected <laughs> to Gundrick. I mean, remember, I, I, wasn't it Boren who killed him? Yes. It was a collective effort. Gundrick? No, uh, you yes, pretty much handled that on your own. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, come an example of murder that's I mean, you did okay. take not, his hand not, uh, or his arm. Yeah, at first. Yeah, yeah. Just you have a thing. Random people because they don't want them to see something is a bit uh, more dubious. <laughs> we'll try to keep the we'll try still to keep uh, the murder down. The idea of it is still funny. <laughs> I'm off the horse, kind of just off to the side. Okay. You, you dismount from quietly, <laughs> like distracted after the conversation about that those almost argument. <laughs> she's kind of like slightly checked out. Is, at this point, would you this like to go to the tavern? Psychotic. Because I don't think anybody I else think wants to go to the tavern. Introduction. I am very, to the very, very I hungry and thirsty. We're all walking. Five. Well, yeah, if I hear walking, the snow prince, I need a drink. Um, yeah. But you keep stopping while you're arguing. We could have like almost been there already. It's it hard. Taking entirely it's too hard long. to talk with my hands while I'm walking. I'm kind of already <laughs> kind of walking you, ahead. You're not even. No one you're not even really bloody. <laughs> hey, do, you, do you see I, my face? I had, I had to go to the bathroom. Do you see this? <laughs> Sometimes, with how, with how much we bicker, I wonder how we've made it this far in the first place. Oh, and uh, carefully and like through not a small amount of I, I, I pat the horse and, and, it, and it disappears. Uh. You just Ooh. fall to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was exactly what I thought. Yeah. I thought yeah. that would be nice. His horse disappears. <laughs> you just get ready. Yeah. He has a spirit you. horse. Yeah, <laughs> right through the lake. Yeah. <laughs> His <Yeah>. armor. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like we're here. Is is Mainz a town or a city? It's a fairly large city. Yeah. It has a nice bridge down the center that seems much older than it now has a nice the lake the too. I'm sorry. I'm sure yeah. you were there. Lake from property now. Prison to nice. Yes, I, I, I believe I did. I just, <laughs> that was more of a mark question. It's got like a good side of the river and like a bad side of the river. Gotcha. Of course, we like the bad side of the river. Kip, I definitely want to know what, what happened ends. to you in the mountains when we lost you. <laughs> How you got turned around, I guess. We can catch up in the tavern, I guess. And yeah. Find out what happened with you. How did you even get there? I, I thought I was just delirious in there. I thought I was just out of my mind, and I thought I was just seeing... I saw a lot of stuff while I was in there, but... Hey, it's been it's been a few years, and um, there's a lot to tell. Has it been that long already? Uh, it's almost three. 
You don't look a day <laughs> older. <laughs> which which tavern should we go to? I think we've hit two out of three. Perhaps we should try the third. Yeah, I'm amenable if you all are. You just want to know I've what the special is. I've heard that one. Has, <laughs> I've heard that one has really good chicken. Let's go to the third. Okay. All right, let's go. You mm-hmm. head toward into town, Kip. I don't know if you've been here before. It, the city of Mines. It's a fairly large town on the western bank of a large, wide river. There is a bridge, uh, a small bridge crossing it, but it's. Um, you make your way into the town. You can very, you see a distinct market square as you as you make your way into the town, and you can see it there on the image. A, a massive cathedral stands on one side of the square. The square itself is surrounded by townhomes, kind of wrapping around it. It's cobbled on this side. It almost looks like old Roman cobbles. They, they've been here for a very, very, very long time. It's cold, but it's but it's pleasant enough. You make your way toward one of the taverns. One of the ones you hadn't gone to was the Magantia Cum, I believe it's called. Yeah. You make your way inside. It's a, no. a, at this time, it's probably late afternoon by this time. And you make your way inside. It's busy, but not crazily busy. Well, the tip. And somebody motions to you from across the room. A um, and by this point, I just missed my armor. <laughs> Russian <laughs> theatos drinking, as in, yeah. Do you want something to drink, to eat? You know, I respond in, in German. And and they direct you toward yeah. one of the tables oh. off to the side, and you find a large round table where all of you can fit at it. And somebody starts bringing over um, um, some a pitcher of mm-hmm. of ale to start, and in German they ask you, or in a German dialect, drinks, food. What are you looking for? Uh, everything. Yes, everything. Everything. Oh. <laughs> I take the pitcher yeah. for myself. Another one of these. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, <laughs> just keep the food coming for now. I think. Okay. And the and the drinks. I sit in like on the oh, side yeah. where I could see the most of the room if possible. And like in the corner to shot. watch the watch the exit. I will have it be known <laughs> that as a celebration for the fact that we have that none of us died, I will cover tonight. I think I died a little. Yeah. What? Yeah, that never when happened. Uh, when, but that was only mostly dying. Oh. I'll go ahead and put my mostly giant dying. gold coin purse back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Start yeah, tucking right, my gold yeah. back away. <laughs> That's on him. The Bank of Balder is closed for the evening. <laughs> Very well. He brings Very over generous, large pitchers. The, the ale is good. Nothing mm-hmm. spectacular, but it's but it's pretty good. And then he continues to bring over, and he says, uh, we do have some food. Um, he asks you in Deutsch, and um, uh, he says, uh, and we'll continue to bring it over. You look like you've been through a little bit worse for wear. I don't remember meeting any of you before. Quite a brawny and body you got here. We were, we were staying at another establishment, and... We decide we we like to try them all when we visit. A town. Oh, your bar hoppers! Very well, leave us a good. At- yeah, yeah, that's what we are. We are bar you hoppers. You can thank us for the warm weather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can thank us for the for the warming of the weather. I know it's not warm out. We have we have lifted the fog of the lake. Oh, you did. Oh, oh yes, like they're going to believe that. They're going to tell stories about it. Yeah. Oh. If they do, I will be pleasantly surprised. I haven't seen it. I haven't been down to the lake. <coughs> when did this happen? Uh, two? Two, what? two hours? I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> how long, how <laughs> long, did, it, did, it, how long did, it, did it take us to, to walk here from the lake? Oh. Three, okay. three fingers in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 45 minutes? Yeah, very recently. Wow, very well. Um, yeah. 85% of my blood lost. 
That was the last time. Mm-hmm. That's how long it's been. I start pulling out <laughs> strips just, of linen and start tying happen, them around your waist. You don't waist have any blood transfusion. Still pouring out. <laughs> yeah, just, just start, starting to tie up bandages. At the end of this, you're going to look like a mummy than anything. Huh. Oh, oh, very well. I mean, uh, first round's on the house, then. Oh, very well. And he brings so over some hearty food. Mm-hmm. It's, um... Uh, let me see, what is he... It's, uh... Uh, it, it's kind of like a thick porridge almost with chunks of meat and pieces of bread floating in it. You can tell it's got lobs and gobs of butter on top of it too. It just looks like a, a thick, hearty type of type of food. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Do you have any... Uh, <laughs> oh no. Fruit? Anything? Fruit? Fruit? You know? um, Chicken? Chicken. Yeah, we can go. We've got chickens. Yeah, I'll take four. I'll take four those. chickens. Four chickens. <laughs> you want them cooked? Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> surprising. <laughs> Very surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take. They don't have to be, but I, mean, I, uh, I need mine. Cooked, please. Uh, very well. Yes. I mean, I'll, uh, we'll get four chickens. Um, uh, no, f- four and one. Five. So Bo, Five do you want those with the head still on, or do, or, or, or do you, or do you want the the uh, the, the good man here to, to be to have his servants do the cutting of the heads? Doesn't really matter. Either way is fine. <laughs> do you want toast with that by chance? Dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very well. White toast. White toast. Dry. Understood. And a coke. Uh, I don't know what Coke is, but uh, we'll get you the closest equivalent. Okay. Is that some kind of barbarian concoction? I'm glad that Tom gets my movie reference. Good thing the bar keeps fairly old. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I can't remember it well. Anyway, he goes out and it takes a few minutes. You guys are sitting there at the bar. What are you doing? Eating at the bar. <laughs> okay. Drinking. Kip, tell us, where have you been? Hi. Um, well, yes, we yes. last saw each other three years ago almost. Um, we were in. Um, give me the name of the. The Alps. Where we we were in the Alps, yeah. yes. We were on the way yes. to. I think it was your undead king you were looking for. Yeah. 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 Oh, we and, found uh, him. We did yes. find him. Ah. Uh, so there was a storm. I was out hunting. And there was a storm, and I got turned around. And um, it's a shame to say it, but the ranger who got lost, Oof. right? Yeah. Um, but I found my way back, and uh, decided to stay a while because we were snowed in. I thought you said he was really good. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, He's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, <laughs> unfamiliar lands. When I departed um, after after the the bad storms, um, you know. Things sidetracked me. I got waylaid. A lot of different things happened along the way. I found some people that um, came from my homeland and they needed help getting home. So I took them to the edges of France and sent them off to England. Um, there's um, some ill tidings going on at home. And uh, I thought about going back, but I realized that what it seems like is happening there, I, I cannot do that alone. So I decided to try to hunt you down and find you, track you. And that took me quite some time. A lot of side adventures along the way. Just follow the burning villages. And uh, like yes, right? oh, the champions of the sun are becoming well known. Uh, much like the Northmen from uh, from whom the kings of England are descended. We yes. do seem to leave a great many burning villages in our wake, don't we? Yes, well, it, it took me some time, but uh, I found my way here, and um, then I got... It has been mostly in self-defense. Yes, and... Uh, <laughs> Then I got captured and sucked down, and that's that is what I remember until I burst through the ice, and there you were fighting. Well, I am I am for sure very glad that you got captured and frozen in the ice. And yes, it was it was all part of the plan. I mean, knowingly, knowing now that you <laughs> he found Drusus before freed we did. yourself. <laughs> yeah, um, such so, so very pleased and happy that you were able to help us at that time. We we needed it. We needed it. Yeah, well, it is, it is good to be it back. It is very good to see you again, Kip. Yes. Truly. And you, Lycoa. 
Yes. You could throw one of the chicken legs to pick up. <laughs> chicken and dogs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, I'm yeah. Um, and we have some other party members. Everybody. Yes. This is New this Champions. Is Kip. Yes. This is Kip Killens. Well met. Um, so I guess uh, sitting at the table, um, he's uh, um, uh, gaunt looking, kind of frail, feralish. Um, he's got a, uh, a noticeable red bandana tucked over his head uh, where gold hair um, seeps out, or blonde hair seeps out. Um, dressed in Celtic uh, attire. Um, he's got like the kilt going. Uh, he's got you know leather up on top. Um, clearly favors uh, the bows, the bow and the arrows that are um, now probably cocked up against the wall. Um, and obviously he's got a larger, bluish-hued furred wolf uh, that travels around with him, named like Toa, covered in barding, um, and now enjoying a chicken bone. This is a uh, uh, and he does have a patch over his eye. Good opportunity for us to hear about our new. Um, Traveling companions here. I mean, I'm assuming you're gonna, you guys are gonna continue onward with us. I mean, we've kind of all. After what they just saw? Well, I know that's why. I mean, I mean, why would you want to leave that? I mean, that was pretty it's epic. Just, it's just amazing. It's just, yeah, it's I mean, we killed a lot. Of stuff. I'm a little concerned about the uh, burning village. I mean, as I mentioned, I'm hearing about all in self defense. Most yeah, of, mostly most, in self defense. Yeah. 95. Yeah. Those Most large, of those villages large. were crazy. Yeah. So, all right. yeah. They yeah. needed to be purged. Sometimes they just burned <laughs> while we just happened to be there. You know? And then we tracked True, the down one, and did it. And the one exploded. We didn't do it. Yeah, we, we were didn't just there. Yeah. We were just there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But we will punish the person who did it. Yeah, that's we're on our way to do yeah, that. We're looking. <laughs> we're looking. That's, that's, another one of the, that's one of the other things we have to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but about you guys, uh, I mean, I, I would like to hear... I'd like some he- to hear some more. Um, oh. I don't know, Edric and... Um, Layla does not go first. So Layla? <laughs> she takes I mean, a They shot. met us in battle, basically. <laughs> they <laughs> came to our aid. They, they, don't like they kind of yeah. showed up. And <laughs> you just came riding on, to... on Matthias's horse. Yeah. Like, out of um, nowhere. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone must have sent you. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah? I, uh, she's a little uncomfortable, clearly. Everybody's she's, staring at you. I know. Yeah. It's <laughs> chewing food, like eating, like I have yeah. double, like I have two chickens. <laughs> like, yeah. Even like, like, even like Koa. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, he's, he's looking paw? right at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have like oh, my yeah. silverware kit that I like take out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pull my, some of my utensils. Like, small uh, human you size see, Um, Brown-skinned no, woman. She's got me. curly hairs. <laughs> a lot of it's in braids and some trinkets. She's got mostly gold and bronze armor. It looks pretty, fairly well made. She's got this uh, large two-handed batle that's like a jagged mm-hmm. two-handed sword on, at her back. And the cloak. Mm-hmm. You can see maybe some of the details look a little. Like she's from, not from around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's got a thick, thickish accent, um, Ethiopian accent. Um, she just takes another shot because you just asked it. I mean, you're you're a long <laughs> way from home. Yeah. That's no secret to us. <clears throat> Aren't we all a long way from home? Except, yeah. except you. Except me. This is home. Yes. This is my the fact that I hadn't even thought of that. This is your home. Even yeah. I'm far from my home at this point. This is all your I imagine home. we start closer to where I live. Most people are, I <laughs> guess, <laughs> far away from their own home. I um, I don't know. It's I guess it's a good coincidence. I think so far I've run into you all. I um. Uh, my you know, if you're looking for trouble, it's a pretty good coincidence. Right? Well, you seem more than you seem more than capable, and we yeah. are going to need all the help yeah. we can you get. You had a companion with you. You had a um, a, a bird or oh, yeah, an yeah. owl. Is did he make it out of there with, with you? Yeah, I. Uh, she does a quick whistle, and he appears. Okay. Um, 
he'll kind of like wobble over, hop up <laughs> next to her on the table. Balder can do that too. Right, Balder? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hop on the table and yeah. walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't had enough to drink yet. Right? Yeah. I gotta check the sturdiness of this table. Yeah, sure. I'm Based on your weight? No. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a bounty hunter. I've been Uh-oh. through a lot. To You're not here for I'm one of us. Are you by I would chance? hope not. Okay. Well, I've been I'm, listening to your conversation. I would, I would hope not. Now, now, now we're all going to watch what we say. <laughs> Look how it's like slicking back yeah. under the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it ever does come up, I'll give you double the price. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to say it. I don't think that's going to work, but appreciate you uh, trying. Hopefully you, there is no bounty. Hopefully. Hopefully. There might be. But Do you have a target? Oh, there's bounties. There's bounties, but with bad people, not with um, good people. I do. Currently, Ooh. I was. I have multiple targets, uh, oh. but I'm kind of um. How do you say? I normally travel through new towns and figure out what bounties are out there. Kind of have my uh, own goals. Let's just say and. Hopefully they align to some of my work outside. I... How do yeah. you decide what bounty you want to accept? What is your criteria for that? Is there like a message board or something you go to and you just... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you just select all the bounties I mean, like, or are there specific I have, uh, kinds? Pe- people just posting bounties on some wooden billboard in the middle of the town square. Well, I've taken seems some ridiculous to me, of but... those. Well, you, remember, you remember that call. that Italian Aldrich that was with us yeah. for a while. He knew shadowy groups. Oh, this is true. Maybe those yeah. are the ones that give you the bounties? No. No. Um, that sounds more I like an assassin. I care most <laughs> about... All the Italians we've had in this party, most of them have been, have been connected with some form of shadowy organization or, or been murderers. Do we need to spell that out for you? I mean, all oh, right, true. What about the Italians? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> either way, I mean, you uh, no argument from me. The Iberian Peninsula is far superior to any other part of this godforsaken continent. Mm. I just feel like you don't run away is it from the law. It's like one of the most oh, intriguing fair. places in Europe. Are you the law then? No. Only if the law is right. I do with. You just take the law into the your law own hands. The law should so. be doing. Okay. Um, that's also that's not how bounties kind of like what we do, that's right? That's also not how bounties work. That is an You don't take the law in your own hand. You're upholding the law. No, no. <laughs> but what if they uh, usually, don't go like I, I overlapping don't, circles, yeah. I kind of show um, some of the uh, the kid I have. The uh, I forget what it's called now. Um, I don't kill people on my bounties. I hunt them down and bring them to justice. I don't oh. carry out their sentences. Oh. These guys, these they guys have dealt with a lot more assassins than, yeah. <laughs> than bounty hunters. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not an assassin. <laughs> this is very interesting. Do not kill them. Like the, <laughs> like the, um, I don't have the to kill them from, to get them uh, to that come we ran into me. multiple times. Or, 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 get, or get paid. They don't I'd have like to, to be conscious. That. Or get paid. And you still get paid if yeah. they're alive. Do you, get, do you get more? Do you get what more? What was the, name the young woman we ran into in Turkey? Some, uh, mostly. Hmm. Most of them have uh, their she questions. She sounds like she is onto something. It doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't keep sound them nearly them, as much fun. Keep them alive. Well, more money. If you like, I mean, most of them don't come <laughs> willingly. I just don't kill them. But if they don't have well, eyes, no. we get like Criminals triple the money. Criminals, uh, Criminals are degenerates. It's just the. I mean, the afterwards. Yeah, we only DI people after the dead. Not That's what I'm saying. Them. Then we get triple the money. There's no bounty is going to cover that much. Right, Balder? <laughs> yes, it depends on the person, but. <laughs> oh, good times. Try not encouraging yeah. people's strange and un. strange and. no offense, but. The quite unsettling habits. 
Well, it's not his habit. I mean, usually it's Georgie. Georgie, yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. He it's does not our fault he's trained I've, so well. I've, I've trained him to do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. That doesn't Never mind. So, <laughs> Edric, Edric, are you as much of a mystery as... Wait, 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 wait. Another, another, another round first. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Round of pictures. Absolutely. Uh, here they come. And, and here's your... <laughs> We've got three. You said four whole four. chickens. Yeah. We got three ready. The pot's okay. not big enough for four. I hope you don't mind. Just throw it um, over the fire. It's and you too. said the one in the very pristine outfit over here is picking up the tab, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's. Nice. Uh, we should wait till we're done. Okay. Very well. Very well. Yeah. We don't want him to go back on this. Here you go. Here's your three whole chickens. I hope they've done enough for you. Excuse me. What? It just feels cheap. It was in jest. It was a joke. Oh. Are they done enough? It doesn't matter that much. I'll take the pieces yeah. that seem... Mostly, on the outside. I, I, I am very... <laughs> That's fine. My, That's my fatigue is making me oversensitive. So how about how about our friend Edric here? Are, are you as much of a mystery as our bounty hunter friend? So at, at the mention of, of his name, he actually looks up, and those that kind of were paying attention, at the moment everybody started talking about home, he looked very pensive and actually took out a piece of parchment and a quill and started writing something down uh he's like oh didn't even realize that the conversation ended up turning to him uh what you see sitting there for those that haven't really looked at edric too much uh stands about 5'11 when he's actually standing up a uh, little bit past shoulder length uh brown hair uh clean shaven for the most part except he hasn't shaved in the past couple of days because there's a lot going on um his face definitely seems very weather-worn, even though he's somewhat younger. Um, just, he has that air about him of, like, he's... <clears throat> not a, Like, he's missing home, and that's very plain to see, but he's missing more than just home. Like, there's other aspects of his life previously that he was missing. Um, it's like, oh, um... Yeah, uh... I've, yeah, I've been home, away from home quite a while now. Um, sorry. Uh, and he rolls up the, the paper and quill and puts it all back in his bag. Uh, it's like, no, nah, um, I kind of came across you guys trying to escape something. Not exactly certain if it's considered persecution or not, but it is what it is. Um, ended up just kind of by happenstance came across you guys and figured you guys seem to need help or I'll give you guys a hand so I mean the first time I met you guys you can see here you were about to fall dead uh, nonsense Ma that's <laughs> never <laughs> happened Mateus, Mateus was bleeding out actively <laughs> Exaggeration to say we needed help. Yeah, but. we never actually needed help. We appreciate <laughs> it, but sure. As I look at you covered in bandages yeah. that I've applied yeah, over the past I mean, couple hours, I would have been fine. Let's obviously, be careful sure. offering up hands. His whole face is white at this point. His bandages are soaked through. Yeah, um, obviously, it would have been perfectly fine. Yes, you got. Yes, you would have been fine because, because by the time that that uh, that I had dug you out of the rubble, your bones would be a very fine dust. <laughs> Yeah, and there was like that. I if, I, said, if I didn't come back for you, you wouldn't be able to finish off Drusus. Yeah. Bones, uh, I would have been fine. The ice oh, those was rocks were the ice was not melting. even nearly as big as I am. So yeah, no, that's fine. But still, if I didn't come back to get you back up, you wouldn't have been able to finish off Drusus. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a losing battle for you, uh -huh. believe me. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but one thing is definitely very clear is his accent is weird. Um, it's almost like he doesn't have one. Uh, except for like certain words are pronounced in certain ways, uh, giving a very weird mix of what would actually would be his native languages. Um, and he actually does look to Kit because you're wearing very Celtic clothing. He's like, um, where do you call home? Uh, Garenin, Scotland. Hmm. Uh, I'm, my, my father's from a bit. Such your faces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my, my father was is actually from the the island that's a bit to your west there. Hi. So uh, and he actually starts speaking to you in Celtic. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, 
It's like yeah, you know, my father's from, from uh, uh, Dunkirk, Ireland, and like I don't know, I'm making up a name there. Um, from Ireland, it's, it's generations there, and eventually moved to England and all that. And going on like just a full rant with someone who actually like seems like from yeah. his style of home because he is from, he does explain do not um, hmm. that he is well, from like northern England, almost Scotland. Mm-hmm. Um, just drunk. And then he realizes that he's like, and he stops speaking Celtic and goes back to adventures camp. Sorry, guys, I get wrapped up every now and then. I uh, didn't mean to be rude on that. Speaking languages that not everybody understands. Yeah, we'll talk about companions as allies, yes. from the Irish to the hatred of some of the English and well, all that stuff. Gonna continue an old joke in this group. You know what the problem with Scotland is? It's full of Scots. <laughs> You, oh, you guys weren't around for that. You were around for that last time we did that to Mr. Uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Kip. Yes, well. <laughs> and he loves it so yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are in There's not as many Scots as there once was. was. He is no fortunately, longer I, uh, he does, Fortunately, no, I was so is that on that ship. Well, he's okay. He's good. Well, that makes Scott look that much better. One, one less no, Scotsman. A bit of a conflict of interest yes. for me. I was fabulous. <laughs> traveling. It's not home. You said something was going on at home? Aye, you yeah. You handle what? Um, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I, I don't know too much. I just know that there's strange strange things going on. Um, you know, I ventured out in the world looking for beasts that attacked my village and uh, tried to hunt them down and have not been successful, which is how I originally found this group. Um, it was on the hunt. But uh, it seems like there is uh, more trouble and more tidings going on up there than um, you know, the, the homeland seems like it's not what it once was. There, my village always practiced the old ways. Um, Christianity is on the rise. Um, and uh, along with some of that change is some evil tidings. And uh, uh, you know, I've had dreams and, and premonitions of giant beasts of fire, and we've talked about this mm-hmm. long before. And, um, I don't know if it is related to Osman Ghazi, but uh, I suspect it might be. Yeah, Ghazi's got to go. Perhaps it is not directly related, but a matter of cataclysms emerging in, con- in concert. Yes. Yes, that is it. That is what I see. A, a cataclysm is a good word. Uh, something is coming, and um, I don't know if it's related to Osman Ghazi or if it's bigger than him. Um, if that can be a thing. The more we wander, the more I think that Ghazi is only one part of this picture. Aye. And I'm not sure I like that. You know, it's, the spirits are restless, and, um, and that troubles me. Giant, giant, Many different giant pieces. Fire Giant Many fire different monster. pieces that have yet to come <clears throat> fully together. Giant, giant, fi- giant, giant fire, fire monsters, and, uh, for sure. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I don't know you. It seems like most oh, of yeah. us do as well. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I am Zyman. I've, I've been with Bolant and, and Balder for, for quite some time now. I, I'm from Zaragoza. I don't know where that is. Yes, he's Aragonese. I feel... I feel Poorly for you. Right. <laughs> uh, from the uh, Iberian Peninsula? Yeah, he's. Wait, is it, is it Aragon, Castile, <laughs> or Asturias? I can never keep them straight. Aragon. I thought it was Aragon. <sighs> How did you uh, get into magic? I noticed, you know. Um, it's kind of your thing. Before you answer that, do you have any active bounties? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I just want to protect my friend here to make sure that we are not putting is, him in harm's way. It, it's funny that you think we'll you still need to protect me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll she be just fine. smiles. She, she already says she doesn't kill them. We'll be fine. Fits. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's just a joke. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I, proceed. I'm sorry. I just, I want to make sure that you don't have a bounty for our friend here. Uh, I come from a, a, a noble family. My my father and all my brothers are, are 
us of course, stout men, two of my father and two brothers, larger than born. <laughs> you lie now. Don't listen to anything that you're saying. They are, they are, <laughs> they are great knights. Uh, as a child, I was stricken with illness, and uh, my but my mother sought to uh, get to me a, a tutor and teach me in other ways. While I convalesced, mostly in the the garden around our estate. Um, I spent many years learning many things, many languages, history, science, philosophy. Um, she finally found a, a master that uh, came from the island of Crete, and he uh, began to teach me magic. Uh, I, believe, I believe my mother may have been innately gifted as well and may have passed it on to me and really somehow maybe she knew the master that she she got for me maybe she didn't I I am not sure um, one one day many probably about four years ago five years ago uh, I came upon my master having a conversation with two other other gentlemen in his native language. They were demanding a, a book back from him. Uh, he refused to give it to them, uh, saying it was safer with him. Um, he did not know that I was listening at the time, but I saw to it that that would be my immediate goal, would be to find that book as fast as possible because Surely it must be interesting, and uh, it, it took only a couple of days of rummaging while he was not around, and I, I reach into my backpack and pull out this book, and it's got this dark, leathery cover on it, and it looks really... You might want to put that thing away before I have any urges. I'm trying to be courteous here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? And so I, I took the book. And I'm confused. <laughs> Me too. I took the book and I, didn't and I, uh, I, 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 I left home uh, to discover more about magic and, and the world. And leave it behind, I guess. Do something, do something new, and I, I traveled through France. I met a woman that I fell in love with, who I promptly robbed. Robbed. <laughs> okay. It was only a small pearl. It, it was necessary for me to continue my magical studies. It, and uh, of course, she had gods that came after me, and I wound up running into the Alps far less equipped than I should have been, and it was there that, that, that Matthias, the Shining Knight, found me half frozen in a mountain pass, and I thought, surely my savior has arrived. So he does have one. Matthias he, does he tend to bring the strays in, doesn't he? Does. He, he, does. he does, apparently. Yeah. It's, it's, it's part thing. of his yes. mutus operandi, and, uh, I thought surely he will take me to a town and I will be warm and and things will be good, but he brought me into a battle with yetis and giant purple fire-breathing ones. Mm. I was on the way to a town, in my defense. I did not you realize know, we were walking directly into combat. I mean, it is that warm is, in here now, there's food, there's drink. I've met him in a very similar situation. <laughs> Except but, vampires and a burning village. Yeah, I ran right into a war. Oh yes, I know. <laughs> and there they were. Yeah. That was in Serbia, right? Yes. And there is much more to the book, but that may be for another um, time. We'll have to talk about, you know, your favorite book, maybe. Okay. I'm curious to know. Uh, sure. And I'm just curious uh, about. I don't know how you've discovered yourself. 
yeah. from me with magic. I know, considering your mom, I, I have a feeling, well, it's kind of on the nose, but my mom is similar. Mm. And they've got something going on. But I'd rather ask you than her, well, I, so I'm I, kind of curious. Yeah, I, I, I came about it through, through much study. And a lot of reading, a lot of reading. My father, um, he's all about that. He, I am, to some extent, he tried to tuck me away in books and studies. And I learned, I find it's very valuable, but to a certain extent, it's good to get experience. And um, that's what I set out to do a few years ago. Well, that is, so. I, I knew very little when I, I met everyone here, and it is through the, through the hardships that we have faced that I've been able to excel at my art. Uh, Balder here is, is also a very gifted practitioner, but he doesn't have a spell book. No. <clears throat> More just practice repetition. <laughs> and like wounds, he like, like drawing like pictures to make stuff happen, right? Yeah. How does it work? Like, cause I don't understand. Like, how could you not have a book? <laughs> I just think it, and it happens. That is impossible. <laughs> really? Oh, that's just how it works for me too, I don't know. There you go. Yeah, for me she too, I don't have a too. book. Yours is not- And then I don't even have magic. Yours is a power from- <laughs> That's not true. A different place. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a book. I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, I have a book, when, but it's mostly when pictures. You're thinking in it, it comes out. Do you? I have a. I have do you books, feel that but it's magic. sometimes <laughs> hard to? Of course, I don't have magic. So control, mm. like it's coming from something else. I'm just curious. Uh, sometimes, hmm. for me, I don't know if I've ever had the feeling that it's like. Pulling from like a stronger source, or hmm. no, it's. I've had times where it's felt sort of, I don't know, maybe more powerful than what I was intending, but for the most part, no, yeah. just kind of. I think it. I don't. It doesn't feel like I'm drawing from anything, if that's yeah. a way to describe it. I draw. I draw from nature and the trees and the animals, everything around us. No, that's interesting. Yes, there is power. I draw very, in life. I, I draw very jagged lines in my enemies with a large metal rod. <laughs> it's true. Sure. You put the book alone. Very, <laughs> very good image, my yes. Book yeah. alone. <laughs> yeah. you Where does your magic come from? My magic comes from Woden. My commitment to him. Odin. Woden. Odin. Well. There's many different ways of maybe many it's just different pronunciation versions. Thing here. Yeah, huh. yeah. But, but he very, gives me the strength. He gives strength. me the power, and I and I, I fight for him. Because when we were in that battle, it, um, I don't know if you recall, uh, I was able to put almost like a, a a shield around you for a short period of time. Um, it was the the ice chunk guy that we fought before Drusus. Okay. I, I had prayed to Odin myself and uh, granted me the ability to be able to put that on you. So you know then, you know how he bestows power upon us. Sort of. Uh, I'm not I'm not 100% certain exactly. It was more of I prayed and he answered. Yeah. It's a uh, you know, <clears throat> powerful powerful being such as him it's, there's a lot of give and there's a lot of take so he will take he will take his 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 power back from you at some point that's that's just how it works but i have called out to him many times and he's answered many times as long as he keeps answers uh, can't keeps answering me 
I'll continue to fight for. Hmm. I think it is. All this talk see. almost makes me feel self-conscious with how I haven't given my entire life story. Well, I mean, I find it interesting. How do you uh, snap your fingers and your armor disappears and comes back? I mean, is that Go something on. that you do? Is Go that on. something that your Part armor does? That was Barbara, Part Ro tricks. Barbara Rosa. Oh, that's, that's right. So Gave that's Barbara Rosa. So you have you have magical powers that were bestowed upon you the same way Woden has bestowed those upon me. But I can't throw fireballs from my fingers. Well, it's, it's all different. It's, it's all you different can't? types of things. <laughs> and neither can I, you know. Um. No try. Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was... I'll try to Wait, no. I thought I these try. type of things were <laughs> always in the blood. But hearing you all, I guess not. It's different. I think once I, I think once they attach themselves, that the, it you experience it and you learn how to harness it. It is part of your blood. It becomes part of who you are, deep down. And as long as you embrace that, it will continue to more part, freely come from you. She rolls her eyes. I don't yeah. know if anyone notices that. <laughs> it can be part of anyone. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I had none. No, none of these powers. Yeah, I don't know. Mine definitely just feels like it comes from within. I don't feel like I'm drawing from anywhere. I've never been one to believe in a higher power either, but... Maybe a higher I power mean, believes in you. Well, that's what I was going to say. I yeah. mean, if one is on our side, it can't be a bad thing, I don't think. So... Matthias is now fiddling with a small clay horse figurine. I think The Gundrick. only gift I've ever received from my, from my god is in the form of a... Well, the magic comes through an artifact, and he just kind of lifts up the, the figurine. It's not from me. I think uh, so that doesn't mean that is that is uh, that it does not say something. Uh, Turned to Boulder and say, I think Gundrick's power came from a higher power that was on our side, but it didn't. But it wasn't on our side. Whatever higher power would accept Gundrick as a, as a vassal is a kind of higher power that I feel we should probably be trying to exterminate. I think the discussion is more about, you know, the occurrences of these things and how we control them. Uh, Matthias is going after the us. gods now. Yeah. <laughs> each of us harnesses gods. it and uses it in different just, ways. But just whatever. But it's just whatever horrible, the same thing. twisted mm -hmm. preacher would accept oh, Gundrick oh, as, oh, as a servant. God. When I was inside the book for that time, what kind of inside book? Is of this? A book? <laughs> normal, normal place for him. You mean like reading the book? <laughs> Mark just no, broke my brain. Went he, in his the mind book. was inside. In, it. Like, <laughs> just my, just my mind. Okay. I told you there's much oh, more for later. So not yeah. something that's attached to you was inside the book. <laughs> no, no. Okay. No, no. I was part, part of. There's many that are part of the book. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's one of those books. Uh, well, there's like more. Uh, 30 soul. 30 I'm just soul going to keep my mouth book? shut during this part of the conversation. Right, right. So, what uh, I good. saw <clears throat> in that time, it's almost like a tree branch. And if you take that branch and it splits into smaller and smaller pieces. They're all still part of the branch. And all those pieces are the different things that we get power from. They're all the same thing, but they're all diverging away from the, the, same, the same root core. So we, we, we can't separate ourselves from each other or, or what, we, what we do, what we are. It's all, it's all connected. Can't pull it apart. It's not separate. Woden is is no different than the magic that I create, or Galela creates, or Kip, or Bother. It is all the same. It intertwines and winds around and branches and continues in ways that we cannot understand. I'm reminded of a proverb that I learned from my pal Tosh. As Tengri gives us many fingers on the hand, so he gives us many paths to the same righteousness. Mm. What if that um, branch mm -hmm. um, 
is corrupted or used by those who are corrupt. We've seen that too. And then you're born we, from that. You've just witnessed that. You've just seen us take something down that had great power. That drew from a similar source somewhere within. I mean, we've seen some incredible things. We we saw that that horrible being do some really horrible things. But at the, and same... At the same time, hmm. That's weird. at least in my opinion, <laughs> evil is part and parcel of creation. Absolutely. We mm-hmm. cannot exp- expunge all of it. Right. Nor would it be necessarily be ri- be the right thing to do. It is a balance. Without evil, there cannot be good. Without dark light, cannot be. <laughs> Ultimately, what, what is to left to us is to decide how best to live our lives in fulfillment. Aye, but with corruption, think... it could either be left to spread, it could be severed at the to, at the sake of saving the rest of the tree, or it can be healed. And I think our mission, or at least what the mission was at one point, was to either determine whether it could be healed or it had to be severed. So, uh, so as to ma- so as to maintain the the rest of the tree, even those dis- even those branches which are diseased, Hi, and but less, yeah, some- severely so. Sometimes that takes sacrifices. Mm-hmm. It is unfortunate, but this is the way of things. We each have Some... that option to decide on our own, within our own beliefs of where that balance lies. So, at what point do we feel as though, you know, uh, we're sometimes equaling one up? Branch, sometimes one branch might be dying. Are you worried? Simply rotting. Are you worried that your yeah, magic might, might corrupt you? It will not be as severe. Or is it corrupting? So you leave that branch at the, on the tree so as to in my deal ex- with the one that is a greater threat to the whole. I was going to say, in my experience, that corruption, that, that seed is already planted. I don't believe the magic does that. The magic mm-hmm. just helps these people to another, another end. Mm. I don't That is feel... my experience as well. Yeah. yeah, I um. So I think that exposure to power like that has the potential to twist people. I think the people are already twisted. It's through their Perhaps. experiences and through their through their life those those experiences build yeah. up and they become the person who they're going to be. The power just you know just increases it exponentially. That is why I'm going to figure this power that I have. I just... uh, We just remember that I know that that people in my... Some people, some of my ancestors, they've... I used to think that... That, um... I don't know, it was the power, but... I don't know, I living my own life you have choices that you make on your own and I just think I'd rather discover these things on my own than um, let's say some people from my family or my mother tell me about it I just I feel like I can only trust my own uh, intuition fair enough I don't Uh, think it's I think I'm not going to let that happen to me so I think if your heart's in the right place I don't think the magic you'll have any risk of it corrupting you. Do you feel as though you are a good person? Yes. You answered that quickly, so Mm -hmm. you should have no doubt that you will use whatever great powers you were given, you would use them for good. You seemed very certain of it, and we, we have to remember that there is always balance, so... You know, I think many of us at this table right now are sort of the checks on that balance. I mean, we've devoted our, so, you know, we we're, we're devoted to keeping that balance. As the evil spreads greater than the good, we're going we're gonna to start hacking away at the evil. 
We're gonna bail it back until, uh, until the work is done. We want to tip this guy and burn, right. and burn the roots. <laughs> so, that's, uh, so that's new life may grow. Or heal it, if we can. <laughs> Balance. Yes. However it is. You've got chicken in your beard. Oh, it's for later. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Here's your other chicken. Hey, huh? I'm <laughs> starving. And here's a few more pictures. Um, <sighs> is there a bathhouse or what, some what language sort of are you establishment? Um, someone helped me out with um, what? Um, what language do you speak? Verstehen Sie Deutsch? What language is these? No. Just speak louder <laughs> and slower. Messaging. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it works. I don't know where. Tell him to comment in the chat. <laughs> Can you ask what him said. what, uh, if there's a bathhouse or some sort of establishment in this town? Or if you know, I don't have to ask. Just to get cleaned up. We usually use yeah, taverns and you have rooms somewhere. Some place to, to wash and oh. bathe and... Sure, I mean, we, we can uh, arrange that. I mean, up, upstairs sure. top. Yeah. I assume, yes, I assume yeah. you meant it, top, but in, we were, Unless you want to fill the whole room. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I, I didn't, I, 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 yes, all good. We can certainly arrange it. I mean, are you staying the night, the day, the, wow? I mean, the bar is wide open. The kitchen's probably winding down, but um, do you like this place? We need to. Sure. We're going to stay for a while, no, right? No, we don't need to leave here. We can stay here. If we're going to rest up, we're going to kind of recoup. We're going to yeah. resupply, recharge, get drunk Jeez. every night, eat all the food. Yeah, that's yeah. the plan, right? Okay. So we'll stay. Chicken. You're in no condition to travel. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's all on Mattias tonight. So we'll take rooms for the week. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all outstanding. Um, understood. Um, I understand you, and I understand you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Um, Se- seven rooms. Seven rooms. Nice to die. Yeah. Just put it all in one bill for tonight. Uh, will do. Mm-hmm. Me, yeah. Mm-hmm. How much? Yeah. Um. Tell him we haven't finished yet, so. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, you I'll, might well probably want to wait until we're all done. Okay. Um, another round. Do you want <laughs> another round? Pictures <laughs> on another the round tab? of chickens. How many pictures a night? Um, twenty. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> 30 what? pictures. All twenty-five. Whoa. Cut it right down the middle. All right, twenty-five. Yeah. 25 I'll compromise a little. Give me a couple minutes and uh, Matter of fact, another round. Coming over. Yeah. <laughs> I need the deep. place for sale. <laughs> Put, it on the, <laughs> Put it on the tab. He goes back to the counter and he, <laughs> I just buy the establishment and he comes back board? with seven sets of keys and drops them on the table. And he Which says, uh, the "Somebody, uh, t- <laughs> tell her that somebody will give him uh, an hour or so and." Uh, Tub will be ready. You I see so yeah, as I'm as, as they're talking. I'm translating. You see several <laughs> look like worker bees from the back room bringing a giant. They're sloshing back and forth, and he's like, "Um, clean water, Whoa. clean and warm." Is that actually clean, clean and warm? He turns to them nine. <laughs> And they turn around. <laughs> and they, go back in. they go back in. And How many be... nights did you just purchase through this place? Seven. 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 Yeah, that's okay. This is probably just as good as any other place. In this. <laughs> it's the thirteen. It's yes. thirteen twenty-three. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you get what you get. Yeah. But they're getting fresh water, and they're gonna, and they're gonna, because they're gonna bring it's fresh, <laughs> warm water for you. It's may in That's fact be more sanitary to just to be an ale than, <laughs> mm-hmm. than the water. I do. I use ashes. I go really you close to the fire. I get in there and I just. I need a bank. Dash it up and, you know. So good. that's why your leg wound got infected last time. Yeah, I no, I'm, I'm fine. fine. I use magic. Yeah, I just clean myself with magic. <laughs> I don't get infected. <laughs> like, I don't I take, I just like I don't get good. hurt. Tell them or, all the pus I had to drain out there last week. Sometimes, you know, the silk is good for the, <laughs> the muscles. That's yeah. a lot. That's the most I've ever had. should give it a try. You know, it's good for the muscles. A little more work. It's good for the muscles. The bathhouse in Rome are amazing. And I ale. show him and my hands, the henna, yeah. and I say, that you know, a few people get their fancy I, um, 
I don't know. I could apply some to you, your scars, sometimes. I just find it helps. Besides nothing else to do looking cool sometimes. That would be cool. I probably look good on me, right? What do you think, Simon? I mean, I don't think we'll be able to see it past the hair, but... Yeah. Yeah, I saw the If we continually shave you, it will look fat. The kingdom bed yeah. motif where it's all screaming the faces mm-hmm. in the foreground. I, mean, I think I would like that sometime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I would. I don't know. I yeah. just... Yeah. Where I come from, it it it's screaming has healing properties. I think it just helps the bruises. Sometimes. I said go for it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and then Boron's gonna also take out from his bag two decaying, decrepit hands. I'm gonna take them out and put them on the table, and be like, "This." this oh look, it's the hands of my cousin from, Benedict. Our, our present from Juices. Our present. But there, didn't, wasn't there a way? Did anybody oh, in the party Jesus have a way to preserve this? My cousin this? Benedict. Do you still have that know. heart? I do, and that's preserved. Yeah, I, I want to try to find out how, <laughs> maybe not, how we that's, can preserve That's what that goo is on the hands. bottom of the bag. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to look within the town here and find, try to find someone who can maybe preserve these. And I, w- uh, I would suggest salt. going to the lots uh, and lots bronze. Of salt. I think we lost the wizard you, who was you, preserving them. Yeah. You could also go to the, mm. the cathedral. They may be able to... Uh, bronze yeah. Them. Well, maybe there's like a taxidermist or something. But I don't know if you want to make a holy relic out of... Yeah, like salt oh, yeah, all over it, dry it out. But, yeah. uh, but this is a present. But this is going to be a gift. But he was evil. Years. I know, but this is going to be a gift. <laughs> poor pan, yeah, but I don't know if you were supposed to. I gotta go to Iceland. Christian. Christian. Why am I gonna get you to work? <laughs> work in what, in what way? I don't know. Well, it could be a gift. He could be. He wasn't. I don't think he was anti against Christianity. Christianity had barely started when he was alive. This has nothing to do with Christianity. This has to do with creating... No, but somebody mentioned he was anti-Christian or something. This just has to do with, as a reminder. It's a to gift to be a reminder. Yeah, oh, okay. back again to play. Of <laughs> things that have happened and things that have passed and just a dragon the, the future ahead. That's what it's going to be for me. Are you going to make them into two like fists? Continental. Or at least to get back. No, they're going to be like this. They're gonna do a finger. Gun. They're gonna do finger guns. <laughs> what is, <laughs> what is a finger gun? You want to do I mean, that's how I. That's how I shoot firebolts. I guess you go. No, uh, go take guns. Just, I don't know. I'll see how it works out. I'll see how the week goes and see who I can talk to to help me out with it. But well done. <laughs> yeah, finger bowls, <laughs> <laughs> You see the. Servants taking the a tub, what appears to be clean water, up the stairs to the second floor, toward what would be your room. And there's one of the keys on the table. He comes. Uh, the barkeep comes back to you. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled you're going to be staying for the week. And uh, if, in mind, uh, should be about a hundred. And if you tell your friend, a hundred and eighty-two gold should do it. One hundred zwei and oxic. Is that with if it's seven baths all the way around? Like oh, each person? No, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm going more. to need uh, okay. yeah, Mat- Mat- Matthias, I'm going yeah. to need five hundred gold. <laughs> yeah. That does not sound like what he said. I well you don't know understand what <laughs> you don't understand what he said. You can hear the number I part. The number, yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I am fully. Four fifty. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We tried to get the extra fifty gold out of it. Is, it is one eighty, but I'd say make it two hundred to. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I can he agree with that. the tip. Yeah. Yeah, and then a tip twenty percent. That's like eighteen dollars. Oh, that's, that's close enough round up. Yeah. 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 He already added in, but he's not going to sell us that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'll take nine, a tip. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want the baths tip, every tip night? Baths for all. Well, well no, just tonight. No, okay, crazy. Just tonight. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once every six months is good by me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 926. And 190 <laughs> should be fine then with the baths. I'll make it uh, 230. Yeah, all right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna take one of my chickens. I, I, I pull out uh, a, hand, a handful of, tra- of, of large volume trading coins and just put them in a, in a stack on the table. Dankeschön. 
and he... Victor should. I know that one. <laughs> He's learning. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Barely. I'm going to take one of the chickens, Ooh. a whole pitcher oh, of ale, God. and one of the keys, and I'm going to go up and... Oh, they're almost l- losing their smokiness. I still got a little smoky. You still have a little smoky? Just a little. You're going. Yeah, I love that you're doing what? What time this, is it? That smells. Um, uh, it's probably uh, yeah. the sun has been down for a few hours already. It's probably fairly late at night. The bar is starting to close down. Um, people are. It's very quiet. You look around. You're one of the only groups that still have a table. The bard who's up on the stage sounds a little bit drunk, playing away at his his lute, if you will. Does that help? Yeah. Play that Champions of the Sun song. Yeah. Again. Over. As Balder. As, over and over. As Balder has a little more to drink, he's just going to pull out that gold crown and put it on. So yeah. it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> so Bord's just going to take a chicken, I'm going to take a, a pitcher of ale, and a key, and I'm going to go up to my room and just sit in the tub and finish eating and drinking until I pass out. That's my plan. It's rest time. I don't, I'm going to grab a key and go up to my room as well. Talk. <laughs> so you realize how long it's been since I've seen home. Good night, everyone. I think I need to. I think I need a good rest. We all do, I believe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except you. You look well rested. I could still use him. And he turned into a wolf. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I don't remember that. <laughs> How many fingers on the wooden nose? Very. Uh, mm. I, if I could count, I would tell you. <laughs> you all bet you'll have I'm I know one is I'm. I'm going to go up and um, soak. I'm going to take Abu and let him stay in the hall for just a moment while I'm in the tub and see through. His eyes just scaling a little bit periodically. Like while I'm back and forth the hallway, you mean? Or yeah. Where, okay. He's not gonna fly around the tavern, but maybe just like in a corner on a windowsill or something. If there's any windows in the hall, or just like a crevice where he can. Sure. He finds a spot up on top of one. Yeah. On, on the top, top of one of the door uh, sills, there's some some beams going from one side of the hallway to the other side and then above it there's open space up to where the roof would be and he finds a, a perch up in there it's not this is not the hilton it's not well lit hallway so he finds a, a shadowy spot that he can kind of just pose himself up on top of and you look through his eyes the hallway is very very quiet i mean you suspect there's n- probably not a lot of other folks here and um, it is middle of January and very, very cold part of the of the world, especially considering where you mm-hmm. hail from. This is probably Eat. probably <laughs> somewhat okay. a different sensation, yeah. if you will. Um, but it's it's very, very quiet. The bar, even as you uh, even as you uh, as you guys all venture up, the bard kind of calls it quits himself. And and the rest of the you can see the the bar keep going around and blowing out some of the candles that were on the tables. Um, before Kip goes up, if your bird is flying around, he'll where everybody's kind of mingling, going up. Uh, he'll grab his key and he'll walk over to the fireplace and just kind of stand there for a while and petting Lycoa, um, and you'd be able to see him talking. Um, be unsure if he's talking to Lycoa or to himself. And then he'll turn around and go. What? Is it an adventures camp or just another language? Or would I be able to make out? It would be very hushed, very soft. Perception check. <laughs> Perception check. I, I do owl? If you want. You can't call for tracks. Team of team. <laughs> okay. Rollies. Rollies. <laughs> Oh, you hear from you, you hear from one of the rooms just like really kind of loudly middle of the night just like 
Galayla, that bath was such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then Boris passes out in the tub. Just <laughs> I do stop the innkeep from blowing out the candle at our table as I pull my parchment and pen back out and start writing again and finishing whatever drinks were left on the table with the pitchers left around. So He nods to you. He, he gets the impression you probably don't speak the same language and he, and he just pushes the candle a little bit closer to you and then goes back to what he was doing. The rest of you venture off to bed. Okay. Yep. You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and the party takes a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Not together. Not together. Not we'll be right back. <laughs>
you doing? You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and we rejoin the party post bath bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in the inn. What do you guys? It is, unless you do anything else, um, you do anything else? Uh, I write a few pages of what's going to be a letter, uh, just kind of fold it back up, put it in my notes. Probably a few hours after everybody else has already gone up, I blow out the candle and head up to bed myself. So. Oh, cool. Okay. And you head off to uh, to bed the next morning, unless oh. you guys do anything? I uh, I wake up in the, the middle of the night, like 3.30ish in the morning, and uh, I kind of get a grin on my face and a smile. <laughs> Fire. And I look around my room. Do I have a window? Sure. I open up the window and uh, like I take I take off my cloak, so I'm, I'm just wearing my like regular traveler's clothes, like pretty plain clothes, and uh, I'm gonna misty step out into the street. Okay. The party up. And I'm gonna start. Walking around uh, the town, and I want to try to. As on, as I'm walking, I'm gonna be looking for like a group of buildings that are pretty, like close together, and uh, where I don't see like a lot of activity. And you have no problem finding. It's late at night. Yeah. That is a reasonable semblance of what mm -hmm. some of the parts might look like. There are some areas where the buildings are closer together than mm -hmm. others, and then there are some where there are. Um, there is clearly a plaza. You saw it mm -hmm. with the in front of the the church, which is more like a market square. But there are some where there are smaller plazas. That where there might be a fountain to provide mm -hmm. fresh water for the, the mm -hmm. buildings right around that area. Well, I'll but, probably end up trying to like find a place kind of like okay, like this area. And you do. I'll kind of. Uh, just kind of get like in a shadow. If you saw me, you'd see I have like kind of like a glow, like almost a glow about me, and a little like flicker in my eyes, and start rubbing my hands together. I reach into my component pouch and I take out a ball of guano and some sulfur, and I start <laughs> slowly mixing it together. I'll learn those memes. <laughs> Let it go. Like, kind of like rolls down the alleyway and comes comes to a stop, and it's just this little like yellow glow, just a small, maybe like a big marble size. And I just sit there and I, I watch it and I, I focus on it and I, I pay attention to it. And, After a minute passes, just a huge <laughs> fireball just engulfs a 40 foot or 20 foot radius circle of all the buildings. And, and you a, hear and screams else. coming from houses around you and and somebody yells, fire, fire, fuel, fuel. And people start running out into the streets there trying to see what was going on. Of course, it quickly dissipates, but mm -hmm. it catches everything yeah, on fire. Any wood, I mean, not stone per se, but mm -hmm. wood. You see people quickly running about. Um, it is damp, which is, a, depending on how you look <laughs> at it, a good thing. 
-hmm. but um, and what are you doing? You see people running all over the place. I'm just I'm going to stay where I am, and I'm going to cast invisibility on myself, <laughs> and just just watch the madness. And the chaos. Of, of, the chaos of the ensues. People are running all, all over the place. There is literally people. Okay, this time it was intentional, but usually we don't burn the towns down. <laughs> you guys have no idea. <laughs> You're all sound asleep. No. Well, waking up now. Wait, that's what we would wake up to, right? Is the sounds and the chaos. That was good because if you'd said. Before he goes sleep, we're going to sleep. I was up. I was looking through and I would have seen One random guy running around with a bell. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> be doo, be doo, be doo. <laughs> the next morning. Bring out your dad. Mm -hmm. There's some there's some bells I'm ringing. Away from the People quickly rushing over. You can tell it's not. Those are not calling yeah. for mass. Uh -huh. There are people uh -huh. scurrying well, about with buckets, mm -hmm. going quickly over toward the toward the center, toward the well and grabbing water. All of you in your in in the in the tavern, in your private rooms, Borant, you fell asleep in the tub. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hunk of chicken floating yep. there and in the your tub mouth still you. slowly like <laughs> still grabbing it out of the water. <laughs> like <dominant. laughs> And you hear the bells and the, some of the flames out in the street, and you hear some of the chaos um, running about as people are screaming to put it out. They managed to get it under control reasonably quickly. I mean, it, it was very self-contained and very, mm -hmm. very quick. Large and violent and quick, yeah. And, uh, what looks like Zyman just, just smiles if you could see him, because he's still invisible. And I'll slowly walk back towards the uh, the tavern and uh, the personality that's in control is just... He's kind of like, he's invisible, but he's like, he's strung along. He feels like... feels empowered again. Feels... feels what he felt hundreds of years ago when he when he burned French towns to the ground. And just walk just walks back to the tavern and we're not even in France yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're back in the tavern. It's very oh, it's smoky. <laughs> people coughing up. <laughs> Diseases. You stumble up to your room, I mm -hmm. assume. Yeah. Yeah. And and the night, the rest of the night, unless anyone else is doing anything, passes uneventfully. Next morning. What are you guys doing? I'm assuming we would hear talk of this fire. Yeah. Next morning, you there's some discussion about yeah. it. You, you don't speak German, but you hear people <laughs> talking about it, and you hear people go boom, boom. Yeah, I don't think I would even. I don't. I wouldn't even remotely assume Diamond did anything. <laughs> I just. Be, I would just in my head. I'd be like, that's cr crazy. It's just random fire. <laughs> I come. I come stumbling, stumbling down. Like, oh, I slept. Oh, I slept horrible. Hmm. You guys hear bells? Yeah, apparently there was a fire. How far from the tavern is it? Where are we? Fire. A fire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Middle of the night, they were all running around, ringing bells, trying to <clears throat> trying to put it out. By the time I got over there to check it out, they had already put it out. Is that a bit hose? Uh, it seems like a few people were hurt, maybe. I, know, I didn't get a good look. Well, maybe we can do something to, to, to help while we're here, right? That's a good idea. I head back up to my room real quick to gather up all my herbs and stuff like that for my healer's kit and pack all it up and bring it back down with me. Okay. okay. I don't need that. You're back downstairs with yeah. your healer's kit. What yeah. are you doing? Um... Okay, uh, either of you want to come with me to help translate? Sure, sure. Uh, 
I'm not up yet. I'm still in bed. <laughs> I'm so still sleeping. You venture off down the street. It seems like most of the chaos, if there was any, it's mostly people just kind of gawking, trying to figure out w- what could have started the, this fire. You see several what look like town guards kind of just examining either side of this alleyway how this very unusual burn pattern just kind of arced up and around on either side and you understand them it doesn't look like a chimney fire to me it doesn't look like certainly doesn't le- look like somebody left a candle burning i i i I'll, i probably like have like some idea but really scared about it. What do you think is on him? Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, seems quite, quite violent and quick. The buildings didn't burn very much. Any uh, idea what might have caused it? No. no. <laughs> um, I just start walking around to see if there's anybody like injured, burns, anything like that. It's been s- more than a several hours. It's mm-hmm. the you guys have post this incident have slept the night. So anything that anybody who was has probably you don't even need to do an insight check. It's okay. probably already been taken somewhere. But just glancing around you you can tell that it was somewhat confined to this alleyway, whatever it was. Hmm. Okay. Um, I asked Zyman to translate, asking the nearest guard, um, where would uh, the injured have been taken, and were there any that uh, died from this unfortunate event last night? He says, I I mean, no one was seriously injured. I mean, fortunately, whatever this was... Happened right out in the middle of the alleyway on a rainy night. Um, um, I think people were more shook up than than actually injured per se. But that's um, it's really just a question of you know, what what would do this, and more importantly, why? This what a weird thing to happen here. I mean. Yeah, it was very odd. Very odd. Hmm. Uh, I ask again to tran- uh, for Simon to translate. Um, could you tell them where we're staying and that if they need help with anything, investigation, or just taking care of anybody injured, just come find us at the tavern we're at? Uh, sure. sure. Uh, tell them. Uh, uh, th- thank you for, for your time. We won't bother you anymore. You relate what he said? No, I say thank you for oh. your time. We won't bother you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. And obviously, I don't speak German, so. Uh, perhaps we should go back and get the others and go to the cathedral. I might have to lie down. My head. Yeah, hey, you're right. You're looking a little bit more worse for wear than you were yesterday. I still think, I still have holes from one of those two giant spears. <laughs> yeah, I, I pull out a, 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 a small thing of salve and I go, here, put this on those. Those don't look good. Yeah. I don't know if that will help, but thank you. Yeah, rest up if you need anything, let me know. Yeah. Let's go back and get breakfast at least. At, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the two of you head back toward the inn. It's, it's very quiet. Um, whoever says they are there are there. For the yeah, by then I'd, I'd be up eating. Okay. Yeah, you come down. Well, yes, there's the absence, but in, you don't know why. Very well. <laughs> Understood. If I could get Florence like in a moment, like just, just I don't know who else comes down at the same time. But if we have well, I mean, there's, I guess it's possible you could easily have come down at different times. I'm just gonna. There's no alarm clocks. So. 
unless you have an um, internal one. I'm sure you could take him aside, or there'd be time yeah. to just speak mm-hmm. to him. So I Come guess um, she's kind of not really eating her food, just picking at it. Um, you gonna eat that? No. You I can't. just slide right over before she <laughs> eats it. Slide over. I meant to ask you um, how how did it feel? The when I fell out of heaven is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. And every damn no, no. tree on the way down. Every, every ugly branch on the way down. Yeah. Those corrupt ones. Those corrupt I'm ugly smiling, branches. but Layla certainly just like. Like this guy. Just like Man. not even a facial expression. Um. He's got chicken all over his face. Yeah, still. No, I took a bath. I'm good. Yeah, that's the only part you didn't watch. Yeah. Avenging. How did it... How did that feel? Um... It doesn't bring... Resolution. It's done. But... I guess I feel a little bit empty now. But you, I don't know, you've killed this. I've killed many. Horrible person on that was a grievance. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, it, I'm not unhappy that it's that I did it, and I don't regret doing it. I'm glad it's done, but there's a sense of just. Nothing. Was the feeling of... I didn't do this for me, necessarily. There's many people who suffered. I can't bring them back. My home is still... a mess, destroyed. It's gonna be just... Another group of people that decide to, that they want what they have and come through and try to take it again. Uh, but it's, it's, I finished it, but it doesn't feel done yet. It's just nothing. Before, at least I could be angry. Now, there's nothing. Does the nothing override the, feeling you felt while you were killing him. I honestly don't even remember. Uh, Mm -hmm. When I I am in that state, I guess you would call it, you know, there's really no, there's no limit, there's no limits, there's no boundaries, there's, there's just that rage, that anger. That's it. It's like, just seeing red. Mm -hmm. So all I know is how angry I was, and now I kind of miss it. It's just just nothing. Mm -hmm. And I have have other things to be angry about, I guess, eventually. (laughs) Right? But this was a big one. Now it's just gone. I guess... I don't know, I... Did you not expect that? Hmm. I don't know what to... What I expected. I, um... Haven't you ever had an obstacle or something that you had to defeat and you had to work so hard for it? Hmm. And then when you got it, it was in no way what you thought it was going to be? I still have things I guess for me dying in the process is not an option so oh, I just I'd rather I choose. guess I was thrown right. off a little because I I don't know for me I want to triumph over it and let 
those know that the deed has been done, so. I had hoped that you would not die because I, I don't intend to. I think part of me hoped I would. I still have people to face. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. The, the problem with struggle sometimes is that the struggle, the actual struggle part of it is what makes us stronger and gives us purpose. But you're struggling towards a something, a goal or something. But then when you reach it, you're left with nothing. Other than everything, I guess, that you built up along that time. But that driving force is gone. I don't know. So far, the driving force has stayed with me just because I feel like I have so much to prove. Um, but I haven't faced what I need that big. But I guess your words are enough for me. Right, normally I would ask you what that driving force is, what it is that you have to prove, but I have a feeling you're not going to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and We've that's known fine. each other such a short time. You're I think that's fine. So weird, you're already... We're, we're not all that anyway. we're not all that different um I don't know there is someone multiple someone's um that I feel I am waiting for and I don't know I will not die when that time comes they will maybe Probably not by my hand. I don't know if I have that, but that in me. But um, they will see justice. Well, you helped me bring some sort of justice to my life, to the to the people all around here, their life. So maybe in some way I'd be able to help you get that for yourself. But really, think about why it is that you want that. Um, because, like I'm saying, it, it it comes and it goes, and then you're left with. Sometimes you're left with nothing. I will have to be honest with you. Groups are not really for me, but. Um, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I would never ask anyone to carry out. Or help me uh, do what I need to do. I don't think you'll have to expect. ask. It's just how it goes sometimes. You don't have to ask. Those that care will just do. I've never had the feeling of wanting that people who care to do it in either way. Anyway, well, selfless people. Would rather, but You're a selfless person. Why, why? Why would you? That's not the. That's not the reason why they do it. It's because you want them to do it. I don't, though. Right. They yeah. do it because they want to. Mm. Not because you want them to. Interesting. Okay. Matthias, what are you doing? Uh, currently, Matias is, is stuck in something of a meditative state in his in his room. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hey, well, uh, Galela, I'm going to uh, go try to find somebody that could do some of these hands. If you want to take a walk, I think we're going to go to the, the cathedral. Maybe we'll gather everybody up and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. At some point, I want to take a better look at those boots. And I'll take a look at the mask. <coughs> Here, I just take them off right there. I take off my boots. Well, you, and I just hand them to him. Hey. You want to go now. It's okay. I, I don't no, need I, them. I, no, I need time. Oh, uh, all right. And you want to do other things first. Okay. Put them back on. You don't want them? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down put my boots back on. <laughs> Let's just all go then. 
It, it, we are better in numbers. We can intimidate the shopkeepers much more easily. I still feel a little <laughs> shaky. So I still feel a little shaky on the feet, you know. Everyone comes back downstairs. Mark, is Kip doing anything else? Yeah, I'll, I'll have come down early. Um, okay. As, as is the way of things, don't sleep very much. Um, and uh, I'll have just sat by the fire watching and waiting for everybody to come down. I'll have already eaten breakfast and drank and just kind of sat, um, you know, warming up, uh, you know, and then when everybody uh, starts saying it's time to go, I'll grab my stuff and... I'll start walking by, born at the walk by and be like, oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, he'll go. <laughs> he'll go. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, was Boulder doing anything? No. No? Nope. And I Matias know that is Nick still was <laughs> out with, understood. Matthias is still up in his room. <laughs> What, yeah. what are you doing, Mattias, in your room, besides thinking? I'm, I'm waiting to see if anybody actually takes the bait. <laughs> okay, understood. Okay, you notice, I mean, you can't help but notice. I will it. ask about him to the rest of the group, if they've seen him. Come out, where, where is he? He tends to go to the bathroom coming? sometimes. I have, uh, <laughs> like polishing his armor. I have not seen him today. He doesn't need to polish it anymore. It's self-cleaning. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'll notice all everybody right. talking about it, and I'll just head upstairs and knock on his door. Beat taken. Beat taken. <laughs> you hear something so, that sounds like a like a continuous low rumbling sound from inside. He's hungry. Do you have your book? Do I have my book? Yeah. Matthias, you all right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no answer. Making sure. <laughs> Don't burn through those batteries. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I uh, poke my head kind of down the stairs a little bit. And I go, well, this, the, there's a sound coming out of his room. Try to break the door down. No, leave, leave him be if he... Well, he didn't the answer when I asked him. He was there. up the stairs when she hears him say that. He paid last and night. Just You're just going to increase the cost and you're going to have to eat it. to get in somehow. Um... Reiner, would your door, would Trigger. Mattias's door have been locked? Yeah. No. Then you go up to the door. You. Hand, do you grab the handle, or do you just try and put your shoulder into it? I grab the hand. I try to open it first. Okay. The door. But opens. I'm like, she's kind of. Yeah, I'm falling defensive. immediately right behind you. Okay. The two of you are at outside Mattias's door. You open the door. They just see him uh, 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 sitting cross-legged on the floor, and he appears to be stuck in a meditative state, throat singing. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound like throat singing through the door. Okay. <laughs> I jot down a quick note. I leave it right basically in front of him, so when he comes out of his state, he'll see it, just letting him know that we're going to be heading to the cathedral. Okay. We'll be back later. And then... I close the door. That's what yeah. they call music in Hungary, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Layla's just a little flustered. Like, almost like. Sorry, guys. She's a little too paranoid for some reason. <laughs> Always and... something with these guys. Sorry, guys. It's still, still a little high strung from, from the past. Tangri tells you to get your ass up and get out of the tavern. <laughs> 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 What? <laughs> what was? That? What? Who said that? <laughs> Wait, is he? Yeah. Is he, he up? Is he still yeah. You just have to talk about Tengri. He wakes up instantly. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Wait, even if he doesn't hear oh, you? Oh, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> and here I thought I was having another vision. <laughs> well, I mean, I am a vision, but come on, let's go. <laughs> We have to go to Not the... the kind of vision I'm waiting for. We have to go <laughs> to the cathedral. You are... We are the most appropriate to talk to the... You know, I can't to the even clergy. argue with that. Yeah. One moment. Yeah. <laughs> Not just before the guy gets up. Okay. I don't uh, think you need your armor. You can just wear, wear no, your clothes. I'm just packing up my things. Okay. Do you, do you want me to grab you some bacon, a hash of bacon for the road? Uh, sure. get it ready? Thank Time you. Uh, we'll be waiting for you outside. Mm. I'll be down in a minute. Hmm. I've never seen him quite like that. Uh, Matthias then, mm -hmm. shortly thereafter, comes down. 
Okay. So the party's all together. You're, mm -hmm. You are all in the tavern. Yeah, you venture outside. It's not far at all to the cathedral. You, you've been there. Mm -hmm. You make your way through some of the winding streets, not necessarily past where you were last night. They're narrow streets, tall buildings, kind of leaning in on one another. And you make your way to a large market plaza. It's cold, so there's not a lot going on in the plaza. There might be a few vendors, but generally speaking, it's just not the time of the year for that. Mm -hmm. And there you see the cathedral towering in front of you. Is everybody coming in? Let's go. You venture up to the doors. They're slightly ajar, not completely ajar. You venture inside. Mm -hmm. You see some acolytes sitting uh, way up near the front doing some, just looks like they're doing housekeeping at this point. Speak to the abbot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of break away maybe towards the front. Uh, sit down and she's going to, I was going to start praying a little. Okay. But in a, her language. Okay. Understood. The rest of you venture forth up toward the, the front of the cathedral, toward the nave. An acolyte mm -hmm. approaches you, seeing you, remembering you, and saying um, in, in German to you, um, what can we do for you? Have the dead stopped coming out of the walls? Yes, they have. You're welcome. Yeah, then, then we are done. We, we, we have defeated the, the creature that, that lied inside the Drusistine in the middle of the lake. Uh, an evil apparition of a man that has been taking souls upon this countryside for Probably hundreds of years, if not a thousand. A very long time either way. Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to uh, re report in to the to the abbot to the uh, to the bishop to the bishop. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to let him to let him know that that we're done, and if you need to close up the the entrance way, that. So, well, I, mean, go ahead. Uh, I think the bishop would definitely want to hear from you. Well, um, is he available now? I will see. Just so you're aware, yeah. the bishop said that it was God's doing. Hmm. They tend to say that. Hmm. Well, it can be both. That is true, Matthias. It can be both. Perhaps at least some of From us are, point of view. are devices of divinity. Maybe. Of course, uh, if, if you say that I am, let it be so. If not, so on and so forth. <laughs> uh, very well. Um, give me a few moments. I'll be right back. Sure, sure. He ventures off. A few minutes go by, you meander around looking about or doing whatever you're doing or waiting. You're praying to your whatever, your God, Goddess, your faith, or inner self. And She's Christian. And eventually he comes back and he says, um, um, the bishop will see you. I, I did mention that you said that it was your doing. Um, he seemed somewhat nonplussed about it. Mm. <laughs> Let's say to Boren, yeah, it's like a Christian to believe that their God is the one that does everything. Well, it is much. It is much like how every how everything happens through Ten Greeks design. Either he shall pay us a lot to keep us quiet, or he will throw us in an oblique and we will die. So, let's get this over with. Well, some of us will die. Some of us might escape by eating the others. It's true. It's true. 
Mm-hmm. It's an unpleasant truth, but well. Yeah. Pretty mean, sure I'll survive then. He, I mean, mm-hmm. the bishop like looks like. pretty fat. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the advantage. You have so much. You have so much muscle. Your body will consume it before it starts to starve. He just called you fat. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. All right, well, we will follow the alkalite to the bishop. Uh, Kip will stay by the, the, the entryway to the church. He will not follow and go, go further in. Understood. Understood. Kip is by the entranceway. Are you following them? Who's going now? I'm yeah. going. Mattias is going. I'll go. Lawrence is going. I hang out with Kip and the pupper. And the pupper? The pupper. The pupper. The the dog. Oh, okay. Pupper. I will get up. Um, I'll finish. I finish praying. Get up and follow. I'll follow them. And yeah, I'll follow them. Baldo, are you coming? Of course. Okay. Okay. Everyone but Kip. Let us see how the, how this goes. Yeah. Anyone have any bets on which reaction he's going to have? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Does it? Not really, but I'm curious. While following, though, I'm going to keep my eye out if there are any vendors that are opening. Well, you're inside. Well, those are the we're inside. Right? Oh, we're going in for yeah, we're in. in the cathedral. Yeah, yeah. In the cathedral. Yeah. I'll wait. Get your holy water here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You'll wait as in. <laughs> holy water. I'll wait till we leave to it. do the Okay. Thing. Got it. Got so. it. Got it. So you venture toward the back uh-huh. of the cathedral, and then he takes you off to a a. Uh, the same through a set of doors mm-hmm. that you had previously gone. Those of you who were here before. So it uh, seems like we're going back to the bishop's room. He's not. It doesn't change. seem like he's leading us somewhere else at this point. No, you okay. don't get the impression that he's. <laughs> so those of you who had been to the bishop's mm-hmm. chambers, you know that you're going back through that left-hand corridor, mm-hmm. and then it follows back farther back to mm-hmm. the back. So it seems to be paralleling the end of the nave toward mm-hmm. the back of the church or cathedral. And then it, it, there are several small rooms along the way. It's a dark but somewhat ornate with carved with stone and, and marble. And then eventually takes you to his chambers. He knocks at the door. Like the bishop says, in very broken adventurer's cant, the bishop says, please come in. Thank you for meeting with us, Open the door. Holy Father. Let Mattias go first. <laughs> My adventurer's cant is not as is not that well as you recall, but I will try to communicate with you. Tis better than my German, Holy Father. Well, thank you. Alas. <laughs> So the deed, the deed it. is the deed is done. The, the specter beneath the lake la, is, has been felled, and with his and with his end, the curse upon the surrounding area has been ended. I know that when you first came to me, you merely wanted to explore beyond the wall and I agreed to that and Mm -hmm. you Mm -hmm. did very generously contribute for that endeavor and and there was some heinous evil behind it that that the layman and the normal people of the congregation of the community could not possibly understand and it is probably better that they not fully understand such things for the fear that it would would instill in them perhaps it might even make them question their faith 
perhaps. So, I thank you for what you did. I cannot imagine what lay beyond. You mean more. below? What we faced? Well, it was gruesome. Horrifying down there. And yet at the same time, pitiable in a way. Pitiable? The skeletons that came? The the dead of our ancestors, the, I suspect. The, the creature the, the creature that controlled them. The I spectre, know. unaware of its own death. Driven on only by uh, by the misguided belief that the empire he he had li lived and died for still uh, still stood. I know not what you speak of. I only know of skeletons emanating from the from the crypts beneath the cathedral. What? And they have fallen sunlit. They have fallen inside of it. No, they have fallen sunlit. They are no longer coming. No, yes, through, they yeah? are no longer coming through, yes. Well, perhaps that is all you need to know. I mean, there, there is more, but it is, like you said, perhaps, perhaps not... Perhaps it is better not to elaborate. Exactly. How long will you be staying in town? Hopefully only a couple more days. We have business yes, I believe in... that we agreed a week at most. We have kept our end of the bargain. We have not yeah, spoken sure. a word of what we've seen down there and what we've done down there. I didn't ask you to, but I would ask that. We, um, I would like to see if you could maybe do one last favor for us, since we've done such a favor here. Well, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what you, the, this parlay between you two, but I no, will I, try. If I'm I asking you if you could do one last favor for me, since we've taken care of this deed. Is that I'm looking to see if there's anyone who would be able to perhaps uh, embalm or preserve. Uh, I'll just show you. And I'll go into my bag and I'll pull out. <laughs> The two of Juice's hands, just like. <coughs> just Ma Matias wondering just, if we can, just goes. Wondering if I can have this preserved in some way. Would you have the ability I to do you so? Were joking. Sometimes holy men have the ability to do this. I, I thought he was joking. Why so, did I think he was joking? I'm just like, arms folded, kind of smiling, just watching. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Oh, Why did I think he was joking? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> you are often preserved. Might I ask, who is this? This, these are the hands of the, of the being that was, causing all this trouble for you here, for hundreds of years. These are the hands of Drusus. They are very, very large hands. <laughs> he was a but very large look, being. They look like mortal hands, still, nonetheless. Yeah. Um, and how do you, you want them preserved? I want them preserved. I wish to keep them. And you, M. Knight, you wish to, you seem distraught. What? I thought he was joking. It was setting, I thought it was setting chest last night when he was drunk. I didn't think he would actually bring this up. Don't listen to this man, I don't even drink. The previous owner of these <laughs> hands, um, was a terrible person who I'm pretty sure his soul is perishing. We want to bring these hands back to show the people that that being tormented and um, for so many years. Not these and he's people. Gone. Not these people in your city. My people. Where I come from. There are things I do not share with my congregation. Will you give me a few minutes with them? Sure. Um, before I hand them over, I want to check out the hands. Is there anything on them? Rings or anything like that? They're just... No, they okay. seem very, very... But clearly they were 
stout hands at yeah. one point before they just started to decompose yeah. very, very quickly. Right. And you can tell that if left to their to nature that they will continue right, right. to very, very rapidly decompose. Yeah. More okay. rapidly than a, a normal decomposition of a, a body that died today. Right. Um, okay, yeah, well that's why I want to preserve them. Is there a window in this room? There's a small one. A very narrow window and it has leaded glass. It's not very clear. Is it open, cracked? Mm, probably not this time of year. No. How tall are are there any beams in, in above or yes. any nooks? There are some beams. So he wants us to leave while he talks to his clergy. He wants us. What to are wait. you asking? I want my owl to go discreetly in the stay in the room. Okay. How are you going? I think he's listen. Think he's, but if we're yeah, if, if we are staying here. Oh, is, is that, if that's what's happening, I basically want to listen in without him knowing through my Um he he says to you, um, leave them with me and um, my acolyte will call you back in a little short amount of time. How long is a short amount of time? Perhaps we he, do not we These have value to me. I'm not going to damage them. Okay. Obviously, they have value to you. I respect what you did. I don't know okay. what you did. Some things are better left. I agree. You know. You're going to um, find a way to preserve them? Well, that's what he asked. That's all I ask. And return them to me safely. That's all I ask. Oh, okay. You seem... Come on, guys. You don't have to trust me. She just... I mean, it's, they're not mine. I don't... I forgive our compatriots, Holy if... Father. It appears that, as is to be expected by my, of my companions at this point, a, a certain degree of nuance is lost in translation between languages. Uh, perhaps if... Um... If I wanted the hands of a, well, these are very large, but if I wanted the hands of a dead man, I have a crypt filled with those that tried to escape recently. So. I'll say in German to him, I have complete faith in you. Yeah, just get, mm -hmm. I'll return soon. He's not going to keep the hands. Let's just I know. I, 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 you you would have understood what I just said to him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just think this entire situation is I'll wrap so... Him, is so I'll wrap him wrapped in a cloth. I just, I just, I just want to leave go. them on the I desk. take Mattius's <laughs> arm and just like, as he's saying that, no, just like, come okay. on, let's go. I, I didn't understand the... the yeah, the Mattius, I'm like just, walking on trying to get to you out of the room. The <laughs> so that I'll you leave, no longer uh, say how silly... As I put them on the table, I'll leave like a sack of 20 gold right there. Please take the gold. It's not necessary. Okay. You guys so leave your catacombs. I mean, if you want, <laughs> <laughs> you leave the the room. Mm -hmm. Does the owl leave the room? Yeah. No. You leave the room. The door closes. Do you guys go anywhere? Do anything in the interim, or do you just wait? I'll say to Galil on our way out. I'll just look at him. Like sometimes you just have to trust. It's as simple as that. <laughs> And right. I'm gonna go out in the street and just look at the vendors. I'm looking for a food vendor. I'm for yeah, food. I'm looking for food. <laughs> okay. I'm looking like, for dirty water dogs. Okay, so we're I'm looking for street for dogs. dogs. <laughs> Turkey nights. You venture <laughs> out into the street. <laughs> the empanada guy. I'm looking for the empanada guy. Specifically, like something fresh, Sorry. fruit, something that I can keep or. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're asking a lot of middle-aged Europe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything. Is that a coconut? You get a, How did it get here? You're going to get a, get a, get a potato. That's about it's it. A, it's it's sort of a potato is fine. Potato. Potato. potato is fine. But can you press the coconuts together to produce a sound akin to that of horse hooves? Any, like, pastry treat, anything. Like, it's not... 
nothing fancy. You venture out into the, the large open square. Kip um, and it was Edric was who was with you, yeah, yeah. Edric. The two of you see the party coming back back from the the front. You venture out. Do you venture out with them? Yep. They appear to be going out the main entrance way. You go out into the large courtyard. There's not a lot, but you do find a, a, a <laughs> potatoes. You find some bread. Quite a selection of wickedly good-looking pieces of bread, mm. from dark breads to all different kinds, with with bits of nuts and and some with even with some meats and with cheese in them. Sauerkraut. Me hungry. Um, I, know. I like a nice pumpernickel. You do Sound find out. quite a selection of that. <laughs> the last thing that you find in terms of food, you find. A vendor sitting there frying some what looks like potatoes with some other stuff as well and turning them into small patty-like forms that are very, very crispy. Um, while you're this. standing there, <laughs> everyone roll a perception check. Ooh. Um, Let's see what my perception is. Finally get to roll some dice. We've been talking too much. 19? 19. Oh, dear Lord. Mm, that's fine. Fifteen. Not bad for me. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, Ooh, that was not. Twenty-two. Seven. I see potatoes. You see potatoes. And right. you're not quite 16. sure. Yeah. <laughs> potatoes. I fell out my hand, but. Uh, Edric sees a tavern. Twenty-two. <clears throat> Twenty-two. Edric and Kip see taverns across a, t- a tavern across the way, Ooh. and it has. This wood carved wooden sign of these two guys hurdling sausages at one another. One of them's getting poked in the eye by a sausage, and then through the window you can people you can see people like throwing sausages just back and forth. And across the top of the bo- across the sign it says Tierbar, T I E R B A R, which doesn't mean anything to you, but that's what you see. Hey, Borinth, what does that say? That point oh, sign. Oh, a sausage fest going on. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simon, what, is, what does that uh, say above that, above that place right there? Sausage party. Uh, sausage party. You, bar, Simon, bar of sausage. Like sausage. <laughs> Simon looks up at it and, it, and you see the sign, and it means animal bar. Animal bar. Uh, animal. Oh. Animal. Anybody fancy a drink? Like color. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This sounds like a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only, it's only like 10, 10 <laughs> Five o'clock somewhere. Uh, did you not see me walk out of the tavern this morning only, with a mug in my hand? There's only four <laughs> fingers in the sky. <laughs> and? Okay. Five. There's five fingers somewhere. <laughs> I will ask for one of those fixed fried potato pancakes. pancakes. Me too. Like. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. Um, he, he says two it's five silver bitter. And you understand, he says two silver pieces, please. Expensive pinky. I'll, I'll, I'll give him the silver pieces. I'll pay for it. I'll just match what he does because I won't want to. Okay. <laughs> they're wickedly good. They're hot in this chilly weather and they're crispy and kind of mushy on the inside. And you can tell they're potatoes with a little bit of cheese mixed in and they're just got that griddle brown exterior to them. They look awesome. Nice. I could eat one right now. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound pretty good. You know what it needs? It needs mashed tomatoes. With it. Yeah. Mashed. Yeah. Ma- right. Mashed yeah. tomatoes. Yeah. Kip, Kip do, you, do you think you could help me construct a bow? Um, I can, I, if you have a good piece of wood, I can whittle. You aren't getting the one that I'm using for my new lance. Darn. <laughs> you have a new bow? No, it's the same piece old bow. Wood. He's got a new piece of wood for his lance. Ah. He's been lugging it ah. around. It's in the cart, isn't it? I see. Yeah. It's <laughs> I in the know. cart. Yeah. Oh. I, On the way to Benelib. We gotta get that cart. <laughs> I, I can I can carve something up. I think Helen would like to practice his archery skills. Maybe that's something we can work on together. Yes, we can find a good piece of, good, strong, sturdy piece of wood. That's better than just like buying it, right? 
Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Oh, good. Good. Although there was a place in Switzerland I was headed to try to find a really good one. That is on my on my agenda. It might be some time. I think. Yeah. I think I'd like. I think Hamlin would like to practice before this. Who's yeah. Hamlin? He's another another one of the the personalities in the book. Oh, the book. Yeah. We're, just we're kind of together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do like a thing. Okay. There's there's, there's a couple. This is just. Do you see this? No, no, the, the, like, voices. I can relate. But not all at the same time. Usually one little louder than the, the rest at a time. I see. There's, there's Hallen, he, he is very old. Uh, his spirit is from almost a thousand years ago. Uh, uh, there, there is another. Uh, John, he's a uh, he's a very devout holy man, uh, and uh, the, there's one more. There's uh, Al Hazred, who uh, he was a Andalusian that lived on the Iberian Peninsula 700 years ago. He's not that friendly, but. He can be helpful. So are you, are you always Simon? Or are you other, mm. other people? I think I am always Simon. I see. Um, but sometimes they can help me with the things that they know. Yes. Do I see anything around him that maybe others might not pick up on? Because of your eye, or help me out. Is there something I'm not tracking? Uh, his back, his um, or origin. Uh, what is it? The um. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. No, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Strike. You peer at him for a period of time, almost intently. Mm -hmm. I mean, as odd as what he said sounds, you're probably. I can relate. Looking askew at him. But what he said is what he said. Right. Yes. Uh, that is interesting. I, too, um, can hear hmm? voices at times. Um, they do not possess me or, or are not part of me, but they are there. Um, Offering and, guidance? Uh, not so much guidance. I have tried to commune. Mm -hmm. um, it is not... It has not been. I have not been able to understand much, um, but uh, I I do. I see spirits, uh, restless, huh. um, particularly those of my past, um, and and some that you know spirits wander. And Very they, interesting. Um, they they seem sometimes seem to want something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they seem to want to be left alone. Um, and other times, you know, maybe, maybe they're malevolent. Mm. Um, but, uh, but no, not, not in the way that you speak. Hmm. Well, maybe we can figure out a way to bring you into greater contact. Uh, that, if, if that is something you want. That would be something that I want, yes. Mm. There, sometimes there are messages that come to me that I know are of great import, hmm. but uh, they are, they are confusing. They are muddled. This is uh, fabulous. This gives me something else to study. Mm. But Where we shall we get, get your spirit to bow. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You continue to to look around and shop. There's not much here. You do see several stores around the area. What you might expect to find in a in a reasonably. Um, Large middle to large medieval town. Um, what are you doing? You know, a Edric little bit of time to to passed. Party, right? I'm sorry. I think Edric wanted to go to the sausage. Okay. Okay. I wanted to get a drink, but then we got distracted <laughs> by conversation. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I did. Oh, nice. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Uh, so you I, go toward the, the, the building, or no? I, I've kind of forgotten about it with the conversation that was just okay. kind of happening there. Um, I guess the only thing that he would actually want to do is just find someone, like if there's like a, a postmaster or a place where they can send mail out to wherever. Yep. Um, there is a, uh, you you do see something, you probably would recognize the Troutson mm-hmm. is the name of a, uh, uh, of a, a, uh, a family that does mail service around Western Europe, okay. and you find a, a place. Um, yeah, I uh, take a package, which is basically, it's two letters effectively, but it's one letter full inside of another, and um, ask how much it would be to be sent to uh, England in care of. There's a, I tell them the Lord's name and all that if I can. You write it out, or he doesn't seem to understand you, and he, he looks at it and he says, um, uh, "I I write I write down the 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 name of uh, my friend, uh, Lord of the, the estate, and all that stuff." Um, I do ask in English, in Celtic, and also in Icelandic, just to see if he might understand any of it. He understands a little bit of Icelandic. Okay, uh, I I try to tell as best as I can, I asking questions as best I can in Icelandic of. Uh, I, I would like to have this sent there. How much would it be? Yeah. Um, he goes back, he, he pulls out a large ledger, mm-hmm. and he goes down through it, and he's looking at it, and he comes down, and he flips a couple more pages, and he's like, um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I pull out five gold. And, and hand it over, and then I actually pull out a six and give that to him as well. Okay. And he fills out what appears to be a receipt, and he hands it to you. Mm-hmm. All right, I pull that up. I put that in my bag. Mm-hmm. Um, six or seven Wochen. Yeah? Six or seven Wochen. Seven days. So seven days? That. Okay. I, I assume Zion walked in after <laughs> translated. Were you there? Uh, I mean, they would have seen me go in. <laughs> you understand he meant weeks. Weeks. Gotcha. Seven weeks? Uh, yeah, weeks. Gotcha. Seven I'm days would be pretty impressive. Seven though. days yeah. to England would be Come on. quite impressive. Um, I, I got away for two like, weeks from something from Maine. I couldn't make it down. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so I just... Okay. Yep, it's all right. It's fine. Do you guys venture back to the church, or do you guys do anything else, or, or something different? What is happening at the animal? Uh, I don't festival? know. Wait, Are you guys? Wait, I would like to. I would like now. to investigate that. I want to wait till the evening. Little... They're throwing sausages now. They're having a good time now. Come on, Kip, let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like Ho is eyeing up some of the sausages, and one mm-hmm. hits the ground, he goes, Argh. You guys yeah. venture toward the, 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 the teal bar and uh, the animal bar, and you, uh, and you open the door, and... Uh, you get hit in the face with the sausage. <laughs> Make a dex Oh, it is a sausage party. <laughs> Check. <laughs> 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 uh, you, who, who goes through first? Uh, I, I will Say definitely go through yeah. first, yes. You go through first, and somebody just turns and swings and try belts you. Doesn't look like they tried to do it intentionally. Uh-huh. 18, does that hit? <laughs> yes, it does. 18, and I will let it hit me, even if it, it didn't. You get slammed <laughs> right in the face. Or six shit. points of bludgeoning damage. Oh I'm not going into sausage. I'm going to die. I'm dead. <laughs> Death by sausage. <laughs> it just bashed you in, bashed you right in the face. You walk in, and this place is like crowded with drunks, and there's just like a huge bowl of sausages. Of joint. all different kinds Drums on the bar. Crusty People crusty are here. taking them and yeah. dipping them in mustard yes. and throwing them across <laughs> the room to other uh, people. Yeah. And they're grabbing it and just eating it. And people are just like, fine, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
trying to grab them and get everybody out of their way. Yeah. Do you wade in? I, I will. I don't know if anybody follows me, I'll but I'll, I'm up. definitely going you, in. You're having to weave your way in between. I off the ground and just like smack the closest person. <laughs> yeah, you just join right no, in. You just, <laughs> you just belt them. And it just like turns into mini brawls. Yeah. As people are like fighting for I'm gonna sausages. I'm going to dip a big one in mustard and give it to you. <laughs> so you can smack somebody else with it. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> this proceeds to go back and yes. forth. Do you all go into the bar? I kind of put my uh, head up a little. We're going to walk out with damage <laughs> to us. And I'm going to weave through to the bar if I can and just be in the corner and just watch everyone. You watch it. Kind of suddenly. A I wanna... jog comes up and starts gnawing on your leg as you're standing there. What do you, what do, you do? Um, it, it, I try. It it's misses. gnawing? Okay, good. It's like it comes up and it goes... <laughs> Thinking it's getting it's something to eat. I want to survey <laughs> to see if there are any shifty-looking individuals. There's. There's a lot of them. Oh, but like, if there's but any there way that's like it is some shifty sausage. Shifty sausage. That's like uh, not there's one a part of the sticking world, a dagger. But they seem like they have some sort of <laughs> picking his teeth. Communication. Like, give me an investigation. Give me an investigation check. You're, you're, you're peering the around the bar, looking <laughs> to see. Sticking starts in it. That guy. <laughs> what am I doing? Investigation. Investigation. <clears throat> Twelve. Twelve. You're looking around. Right now, it's just chaos, but you can check again. It's just utter, utter chaos. Everybody having a good time? Yes, yes sir. So. Okay, we're going to pause there. <laughs> right. uh, uh, I want to know how much damage Balder and I have when we leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find Random out. damage. <laughs> you might lose your other eye from mustard it's... in the eye. <laughs> no, if you had to lose an eye, that's one way to do it. <laughs> A couple of the people who get too aggressive, I don't, uh, I don't hit them with a the sausage. I kind of just push my fist through the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> push, push. Oh, you, you, you hold it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> you know, the sausage is like whack, 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 whack. Mattias, are you with us? I am. Did you have I a don't good know time? What's going on, but I love it. I did. What was your highlight, sir? I had a good time with all with everything, really. It was a, it was just a very good mm -hmm. session for just. Interacting with people. Okay, awesome. At least I think so. Okay, well, awesome. I'm glad you had a good time. Uh, At least I hope that I was inter uh, um, You're always entertaining. To be enough. <clears throat> you're always very good, man. You were, you were hoping you were what enough? Interactive. Able to react. Oh, yeah. Enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're so. always great at that. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Awesome. Good, good. Well, thank you very much. I, just, I know that in the past I've been distracted at times. Well, I think it's part of the nature of uh, the way you're attending. Um, it's just yeah, uh, yeah. The dial it's <laughs> t would be tough on anybody. As long as you don't get a giant sandwich in front of you, you're good. No, 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 no. Definitely Dude, not. This is why I had dinner before. <laughs> there you so, go. Very good, good. man. You learned. <laughs> One thousand experience points. Brian, did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. Sure how it, was. Um, it was great getting to hear everybody kind of go over their their stories again, who they are, and getting caught up because, well, for a couple of people here, like we've never even gotten to do that. But it was good to hear Jesse's again and Mark's, and you know, it was just cool to hear everybody, you know, where they're at, like where they came from, all that stuff. Like a good refresher. It was fun. It was cool to hear everybody's yeah. story. That was good. Uh, I enjoyed it too. One thousand. Thank you for the adventure log and mm -hmm. the books. Uh, that we, you sent me separately. Awesome stuff. Looking forward to some of that. 1,500 experience points. Nick, did you have a good time? Yes, sir, I did. What was your highlight? Uh, it was definitely sitting down and like being able to talk to everybody and learn more about everyone, getting to meet Kip. Um, and yeah, just the relaxation after a fight is always a very interesting time for for this, and it's always always a good time. Okay, cool. And you're level 7, correct? Yes, sir. With your level difference bonus, 4,000 experience points, sir. Awesome. Did you have a good time? I did. Galayla? I'm close to you. Zubeda? I'm 500 away. I did. Oh. Wait, what? I did. 500? Um, I'm only 500 it? away. One, two, three. There's one. Oh, here, I'll... There you go. I got him. I got one. I'm tossing in Four, one. Four. Five. Ding. There you go. Ding, 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 
I never use them. So I never that, use them. These things. That will officially put me to level eight. Anything. I awesome. never use them. I just accept awesome. it. It is what it is. I like, I like where the roll goes. The roll goes. Right. That's what I, like I mean. That. I never use them. Sometimes that's, that's why I like to use them for this. Sometimes one. that's this part is. of the RP. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this puts smiles on people's faces. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Yeah. Was it Did you have a good time? I did. Yes. What was your highlight? I think. It also was definitely getting to know everybody. Backstories. I it was really cool. I feel like each person their backstories I had a little connection to, so that's interesting. I think it just um, makes Galil a little more interested in everyone. Um, that's helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a good and, talk. Yeah, yeah and I fun. did enjoy yeah. that because I feel like what Born said really like was impactful. I don't know oh, if he was. I don't know if the character was able to, to see, but it shapes. She's going barbarian. through. Yeah, right I was gonna now, say that so. the wisest the barbarian, barbarian I know. How does we change? He's might, he might not be smart, but he's gross. He's that too. I can't say it's like <laughs> he's smart too. Necessarily good. Ooh. What was said? How it yeah. good? Effect, like, but it was very um, important. I feel like to what's going on with her internally. Right so that was fun. Interesting. I um, I do want to talk with you offline regarding some of the things that um, I want to make sure that I'm giving you the opportunities to exercise some of those things that I heard you talk about in your background and so forth. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk spill the beans with everybody here, but you had kind of alluded to some of them, and I, I want to make sure that we're building. I'm building in those opportunities for you. So mm-hmm. just uh, so we do need to talk a little bit. More about that. You're level uh, six, correct? I am. With your difference bonus, uh, 4,500 experience points. Dang. Is that a ding? Yeah. Ding. Seven. Huzzah. Huzzah. Don't forget to roll your new hit die, your, uh, Edric oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. Galela. Mark, did you have a good time? I did. Thank you, Tom. What was your highlight? Um, there was a few. I uh, Obviously, I wanted to come in and I wanted to try an accent. I don't think it worked out very well, uh, but I was you know trying. What? <laughs> no, it oh, did. Thanks. I, I, no, it didn't work. I got it. I, 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 was, I, I only want an accent. I only want pirate a few times. I not think. Not only but. did it did. I, I just didn't want to draw attention, um, more attention to it because I, I I thought you were doing it so well oh. and it was subtle. I thought you were doing it so well that I, I was afraid to say, "Hey, that's really cool." Uh, throw me off. Um, we. I, I, listen, nobody has to do accents. And I know I played with groups where they don't do them at all. But it, I think it, it, I love it when players get into their characters. And not that you got, everybody here does, but it just takes it to a different level. Chris, who uh, played Mikolash, he did this uh, Romanian accent, very, very subtle. I just, I, unfortunately, his life just took him in another direction. Well, Louvier was really yeah. uh, Louvier yeah, yeah. and his French yeah. accent. Yeah, it was um, great. There were people, he was like the only one person, everybody was always like, where's Louvier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's because he's so good at that. But, um, crazy. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where it leads. I, I, I wanted to try I it, it and we'll see. I'll, I'll work on it some more. Um, and, um, and yeah, I mean, I'll piggyback. The, the backstories I thought was great. Obviously, you know, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Kip doesn't know many people at the table and learning about some of that. Um, but also, from playing previously, I always found I was very quiet. And I always hid my backstory and the story that Kip was, which is really not conducive to a group environment. Always being so secretive, like too secretive. They're, they're secretive, then there's too secretive. Um, so this exchange, like, mm-hmm. pulled something that I don't know that I really shared around before too much. That I thought was fantastic. I think it just Even pulled Morris it right had out. A couple little talks well, yeah, me, about yeah, it, we've not, had a little talks and then like that. Morton, but that that was it, and that was a part of the character that I really wanted to like play um, more uh, of, and uh, and that, this is great. Like this cool. is going to be fun. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to cool. this. Cool. As am I. As am I. And you're level eight, correct? Uh, nine. Tom. Nine. You're level yes. nine. Barely right? nine. Barely into nine. Um. Okay. So I must have calculated something wrong there. That would be uh, three thousand experience points then. Thank you, sir. Three thousand. Yeah, I dinged last session. Oh. Okay. My bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. So three thousand experience points. Um. Awesome. Ryan, did you have a good time? Of course, like always. Sorry you missed the battles, the end of the battle last uh, happens. session. But, it happens. It's all right. Um, what was your highlight? No, a uh, couple. I did, of course, just as everyone else said, the RP was really good. I really liked that getting to sit down and talk. I liked, uh, what was it, Galela talking about where the 
the magic comes from. I thought that was kind of cool to like think about because it's not something I don't think Baldur's ever thought about. That was cool. That was <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think he's ever thought about that. Yeah. It just happens. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of a cool conversation. And then, of course, right at the end, this, this <laughs> the sausage part is hilarious. <laughs> that you, you threw that little <laughs> nugget out there. It's like, oh, I have to take I this. I have to <laughs> throw sausages around. Bornth has never been, I mean, a Baldur's never been in a mosh pit, but he was uh, happy to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Uh, and you are level 12 or 13? I forget. 12. No, you're 12. Still. Uh, almost there. Almost. 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 So 1,500 experience points. I don't know. How much more do you need? 15, uh, you should be at 17.5. You're, uh, yeah, it's still, still 2,500. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I don't have that many experience yeah, points. I don't have that many inspirations. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Simon, Jess, did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What was your you take out of my duel? Uh, like, of course, like, the, the full RP uh, sessions, I, I always enjoy. They're, they're such a... Uh, and they always come after, like, back-to-back -back action. So it's, like, a nice decompression uh, and really kind of rounds out the game and, and the feeling at the table. Uh, on, on a personal note, uh, I, uh, I'm really enjoying playing the different uh, personalities and how they affect Zyman. Uh, I like the idea that maybe at least one is gaining a little more control than I may be aware of. And that was great. I loved that. I yeah. loved that so much. See, where, just, see where that coming where from that, somebody who like, doesn't know about that happen. background. That was awesome. Like, it was so. It cool. was like, just what is happening right you. now? <laughs> watching you just go for and it, I man. Like, like I, I love yeah. it. I do I like, like that we kept joking yeah. about how we burned down every town. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 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 You're like, we don't kill innocent people. I'm like, oh, I didn't think it. anything was gonna happen. Like, you, you threw this little marble of fire out, and it was like, what is gonna happen here? That's cool. Like, what's he doing? And all of a sudden, kaboom! I was like, it happened. He did it. Yeah, happy about that. Yeah, that was good. Like the, no, I'm not doing it right. the having the Hazaret okay. El Hazaret personality just like just that? soak that in and like no, feel you, like he was you. back in back in his like former glory it was lots of fun. Awesome, really yeah, I really enjoyed well it. Done. I think yeah, everybody well else did too. Well awesome done. stuff. Cool. Uh, a thousand experience points. Okay. Very very cool, guys. I had a good time. We're just gonna go a hair longer here. Thank you very much for attending. I greatly appreciate it. I always have concerns with RP that it might get boring, but I hope it sounds like everybody had a good time. At least you're saying that. I never, I, I never considered you know. these sessions boring okay. at all. In and fact, like I looked at the clock and I'm like, it's already like, wow. like twenty, like twenty to nine. Or is it like yeah. the time just peels away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I enjoy it, RP it was, immensely. It was fabulous. Okay, very yeah. cool. Even yeah, if I'm just that. sitting here watching other people do it, yeah. like it's just a yeah. story that I just yeah. devour. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Guys, I had a really good time. Thank you very much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching uh, Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure again. We would like to thank and we have to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. That's www.syrinscape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir, for the terrific character art. The updated uh, Zub Zubeda's updated Galela on there. We corrected the color. Um, awesome. Please patronize them by the at symbol Yenu draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter, and patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on YouTube. Don't try to sell me anything on Twitch. Somebody <laughs> tried to put some kind of promotion offer on I, I got to figure out that I'm going to block that dude. Okay, don't try to sell me anything, please. Please. But please, uh, uh, while we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve the stream. Lastly, please follow on Twitch, on Instagram. Please like on Facebook and on YouTube. And please subscribe on YouTube. I'm going to go a little long. As we leave, you indulge my periodic diatribe if my teleprompter is not frozen here. Oh, there we go. Uh, um... As we leave you indulge my periodic diatribe, the big bad evil guy often seems to get away. I was playing in an online Dungeons and Dragons game the opposite week of this game, the Carpathian Adventure. Our level nine characters were in the process of pursuing a great evil that originated from the Underdark. 
They were en route to a place where the evil was currently manifesting itself. The game was a lot of fun, and I was really looking forward to the next session. Game day, about six hours prior to our session, our DM, though not his real name, we'll call him John, posted a message in our Discord. He said, quote, I've decided to stop running games online, unquote. No. Oof. <laughs> then he left the channel. Two years, two months, and one week into the campaign, and it was over. <laughs> oh, man. I was more than somewhat shocked. As I said, and, and honestly, perhaps selfishly, I really look forward to John's every other week game. Yet I had no idea what was going on in his life. There was no indication that there was a problem in game or in his life. Could we have done something? Should we have done something? Did we do something? On one level, I guess I was fortunate the campaign lasted as long as it did. Many campaigns, perhaps most, don't. I've oft said most games don't end with the death of the big bad evil guy. Most games end with same time next week, <laughs> only there isn't a next week. Real life gets a vote. People are pulled in many directions. Family, jobs, other obligations all take priority. In our group, we had lost some players, booted two, and gained new players. With me, we had four remaining when John pulled the plug. So why did it end? I have absolutely no idea. I have run and played in countless games over the years. They all end eventually. Sometimes they did with no notice. One campaign ended that way at this very table. All, or most, of the games were fun. John's game was fun as well. However, for me, this was different. Over the years, John and I had spent many hours conversing regarding the game. We had learned each other's play style, worked through ancillary associated issues with online technology and those associated with typical group dynamics. And we shared, albeit rudimentary, information regarding our lives away from the game. The time invested over two years combined with the fun made the precipitous nature of the ending all that much more raw, shall we say. As the DM, John was in charge, so we followed his lead. He did not dig into our personal lives, so we followed suit. Beyond John's first name, the fact that he had a family and approximately where he lived in the world, I really didn't know anything about him. Our online game was over, and he had signed off. That was it. Other than a Discord ID, there was really no way to reach him. I wrote to his Discord ID. John, whatever happened, I hope all is well with you. If you ever need a virtual ear to vent to, please just give me a shout. Wishing you all the best. No response, but John, that offer still stands. We did subsequently exchange Christmas wishes via Discord. They went something like this. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you too. It didn't go further and I didn't press. A month later, the glue that was holding the rest of the group together now gone, the remaining members dispersed as well. Unfortunately, I don't think the scenario that played out is that unusual today, except for those DMs who have mastered the art and or subscribed to the lazy DM approach, running a game is work. It is fun too, but not all the time. World building, plot line planning, NPC development, encounter management, addressing differing expectations, dealing with argumentative players. It can all take its toll. Had John reached his limit? I don't know. Had someone made him angry? I have no idea. Had I pissed him off? I don't think so. There was no indication that that was the case. Nothing was said, but I don't know. With all of that, and at the same time, there's another aspect to all of this, and call me old school. In the social media-driven world we now live in, I think friendships might be defined differently than friendships were in days of yore. 
online friendships, Facebook friends, Roll20, Steam, Xbox, and Discord friends, etc., that are only online, and throw your darts at me if you disagree, I don't think they command the same level of respect as in-person relationships. Perhaps, duh. At the same time, I've embraced them. I've embraced those relationships. Had I not, the ending of the campaign would not have been so bittersweet, and I would not be here telling you about it. Of course, not everyone sees it the way I do. I know people who swear that the folks on the other end of those platforms are their close friends. But how close are they really? For others, it's just as easy to unfriend someone as it is to friend them. In the end, I'm not so cynical that I will not look for another game. I most assuredly do. Just as I do here, I will put myself out there. I will take chances with people. But if the next one is online again, I will approach it with a very different perspective. While I hope the next one won't end so precipitously, I still won't be surprised if it does not end with the death of the big bad evil guy. Through no fault of the characters, he often seems to get away. I will end my diatribe there. Always remember, in the Carpathian Adventure, the journey is the destination, and we will continue the journey in two weeks. So for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die, and have a good night. Same time, same place. Huzzah! Next